I'm actually hurt. sick. You're actually being abusive. I hate you. Dude, I, my, my camera looks so good. <laughs> Wait, were we really not recording? Uh, we were recording. I just didn't have my mic on for that entire time. So we do have to redo it. So yes. this is fresh now. Fresh now. I brought nothing to this show. Okay, you this brought show nothing sucks. to show. The this show, show sucks. sucks. I'm show carrying sucks. the show today. He's carrying the show. I started a new job and I got sick. Ew. Yeah, you got sick. And Things how do you have feel been now? thrown off. How do you feel I now? feel fine, but I still have a cough that might yeah. present itself throughout the episode. Am Sean looks you? like Sean looks like the pilot from Halo Infinite. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Pascal or whatever his name was. That's, is that really? Is that I really who acted? I don't think it was it? him. I don't think. Oh it, I don't my know. god! Can we get a fact check and then lie in the fact check? Okay, that's a, that, I can do that. Uh, I missed you, Zach. I missed you too. Hey, didn't we do some wacky stream or something that I we don't did a remember? Wa- we yeah, we were there was a, you were in a fog. We were doing this whole episode. Yeah. There was a fog. You were the you were in a fog and you joined and you said, "Yo, what's up?" I got banned in your chat and I said, "Yeah, Nightbot." I did get banned in your chat. Nightbot does not like caps apparently. I I literally installed Nightbot and left it alone. Um Oh, Sean, those are the exact same headphones I use at work apparently. Um yeah, I stole them from you yesterday. You didn't steal them from me, bro. You stole them from my job. <laughs> Wait, I'm just checking before I continue. You right. motherfucker. Hey, if we got to do it again. We're good. We're good. We're good. I, Fuck you. I, I, I have track one and track three recording. And I was like, shouldn't track two be recording instead? But track two is completely empty. And I was like, am I recording only track one and two in it? Two and empty. We're good. Anyway. Track uh, three is my heck. voice. <laughs> track three is my voice. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 you're going to get yelled at. Oh, 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 you're going to get yelled at. You're going to get yelled at, dude. Mommy's going to yell. It's my half birthday today. What does that mean? Halfway through the year before you. So today before work, I was like, I'm going to go get some coffee. And there's this um, there's this um, <laughs> coffee chain that's in a few states. It's, it's growing. You may have heard of it where you're from, but I doubt it's where you guys live. It's called Dutch Bros. Have you ever heard of it? I'm no. a bro. Anyways, I really like it. Call me whatever names you want. I'm a Dutch Bros fan. I show up today. I pay with my app. And they're like, oh, it's your half birthday. Here's half off your coffee. Got a big old thing of coffee for three dollars. Let's go, oh, dude. And it's Mario. Six dollar coffee. It's Mario Day. Mario Day today. It is Mario Day. Did you know what it was is, Mario Day? Is, no, what is Mario Day? <laughs> Look at the date. March fourteenth. You are uh, <laughs> smart. Very smart. <laughs> this guy. Very witty. This guy. This guy's got wits. What is? Hold on. Let me look at Mario's day. March fourteenth is Pi Day. Don't get them. Go get them swapped. I'll give you a Mario pie. What is Mario? Is the Mar- March tenth? Oh, okay. Yeah, Mario. Because it looks yeah, like yeah. Mario. It looks yeah, like yeah. Mario. I, for some <laughs> yep. reason, I was thinking the A would be a one and four, but then the A is in March. It's uh, my, my brain has actually uh, been really bad today. I had like bad no brain kidding. day. I've been. I feel like I've been sick. But my doctor says everything is fine. So I something's can't. going around. My other friend is sick. I went to the grocery store to purchase medicine for me being sick, and they were sold out of Dayquil and Nyquil uh, at the yeah. store. There's something going having, around. I've been having a weird thing. My doctor says, and Haley says, that I haven't been eating enough, which I did technically lose two pounds in the last like two weeks. But I went to the doctor. And while I was at the doctor, my heart was like pounding and my head hurt. And they took my blood pressure and I had elevated blood pressure and my heart rate was like 115. So they were like, oh, um, they went through like a whole list of other symptoms. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And they're like, "Okay, well, it's pretty early in the morning. This is probably just low blood sugar. So I was like, well, that doesn't really make that much sense. But uh, okay. so I ate a bunch of food. I still felt like shit. And the next day I woke up starving. Like, I mean, like, like I had not eaten anything yesterday. So I was like, oh, maybe it was low blood sugar. So I ate a bunch of food and I still felt like garbage. And today I'm driving home from work and I like, I like feel like I'm f- not even falling asleep. It felt like vertigo 
while driving. So I, I've been eating nonstop and, uh, that's what I, my brain has not been working. It's been hey. really fuzzy, but it's apparently low blood sugar, but I don't necessarily know what that. I don't know how to prove that that's not true. Have you ever just considered that you're a silly goose? Oh, I you get diagnosed with silly goose. <laughs> I actually asked my mom, I was like, do you think I could just get diabetes overnight? And she's like, no, I don't think so. Dude, I think, I'm so much I think closer to, to diabetes get... than you could ever be. I'll be real with you. Dude, <laughs> I think you're good. I, the way I eat, the way, the way I, I manage my health, I I wouldn't be surprised if I was close as well, too. I don't, I don't go to doctors either. But, like, I've, I've, never, never, gotten, I've mm-hmm. never gotten vertigo driving. And, like, it, it, to be fair, when I started eating while driving, I felt better. What is a vertigo? Like what specifically? I hear people say it. What is vertigo? So uh, my f- sense of it is because I get it when I rock climb too. So this is basically yeah, my sense. My 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 sense of a common cold is when uh, I have a fucking big boogers. dick dude, a big oh. dick and yep. boogers. There's the symptoms of the <laughs> common the cold. Yeah, my penis yeah. is just swell um, an inch or two when I'm sick, and I'm cold all the time. Um, but no, I think vertigo is like I get like sensitivity to light and like. Um, Are you on this side of me? Nope. Am I pointing the right way? Nope. You, that uh, way? Uh, yep. Hey, but bring it back to you, Chad. It's, right, it's just ahead. like it's just like dizziness and um and like not being able to like for instance like for, <laughs> when I'm driving, taking a left turn to look, I get like motion sickness. And I'm like, that feels completely unsafe to drive. And I even like today I'm driving home and I'm like did I poison myself with any of the chemicals I work with? And I had to like go through this whole thing of you're, like you think about back to your therapist who told you to lick the glasses yeah, and you're like, what yeah. jars yep. did I lick? Yep. That's right, a callback, right. by the way. Yeah, yeah that is. Back. His therapist and, told him to kill himself, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, pretty much. And and credit to my therapy, upon review, I don't think I've poisoned myself. But I'm I, I he just, was right. Therapy I'm works. pretty sure. Something is weird, but I can't, you know, put my finger on it. Uh, the, um, I've never had you. Eat, I've never had to eat this much to feel like sober. So I do check this out. Check this out. I get, I get, I guess my hand's probably in the wrong. I get, um, I don't want to uh, do that. Yeah. I don't, I do don't either. You just did. I, I think this was even, I think they also did this. Yeah. I, I think they I, did both. I, of so those solemnly things. Swear. I, I, I get vertigo from walking into buildings I've never been in before. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you, a baby? It's like... It's like... Capture... It's almost like... To me, it's almost like capturing what 3D space I'm in. No, I don't... What does that mean? Are you an alien? What do you mean no. capturing the new 3D space that you're in? Have you seen my eyes? I know, yeah. I know, <laughs> do right. the edit again. The yeah. third time. Space. Yes, let's go, dude. Ooh. Look at that frog-eyed bitch. Shut up, Sean. Don't fucking laugh, dude. That's fucked up. Um, I um, unironically think I have something similar. I think it's I don't think it's actually autism, but I think it's like uh I'm very visual with my stuff. So if I see a bunch of new things in front of me, my brain like li- I literally remake it in my head. Yeah. I, I when I first walked into community uh, when I was like going to Capitol Community College, doxed myself. I um I walked in to the to the front uh, the like the lobby area and I almost fell over because I got vertigo. It was on it was on it was bottom floor, but it was Toddlers. just like a 3D yeah. Top heavy <laughs> discoordinated toddlers Discord. grown up. Discord even, Discord modded even. Yeah. I am also a very visual person, but not in that way. If I'm like trying to explain software to someone, if I'm trying to walk through software, Ben, you've seen it. I've given you personalized little After Effects mm-hmm. tutorials. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I do that is not because you're special, although you are. Um, it's because I just cannot explain how to navigate software. The only way, like, like I could, I know how to do things in my head and I can tell other people, but I need to like see it. Right. Like I can't be like, oh, you want to do this, this and that. I got to like see it and like do yeah. it myself to explain it. So um, here's a good example of me learning After Effects from Zach. If you're with an audio listener, sorry, but you don't, you don't get that. I mean, you could. I mean, audio. I mean, I'll just add I a know. flang to your voice at the same time. For the audio uh, version. 
you just hate our audio listeners. I do. Um, One day there'll be an audience big enough for this to where people would want to listen to on audio, and then they'll go back through our back catalog and get ear R worded by your little little games you play. I actually, I I keep the audio version so weirdly clean of like most edits. Like even if I I I, because I have a concern that Spotify or Apple podcast is going to be annoying about some sort of copyrighted content. So instead of just only removing the copyrighted content, I like remove like audio effects and stuff like that. I don't have to, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just in my mind. It's just a better listening experience. If you just have just blanket, you know, but, um, yeah. but yeah, uh, I am the same way when I, when I, uh, this is this is going off of the vertical conversation a little bit, but like when I'm at work, I much would much rather share a screen and show what the problem is compared to like taking, you know, just like explaining through words. Like if you go to this cell and this Excel sheet, that would edit it. Just so annoying. Just so annoying. I'm with Similar you. issue today where I had to, te- I was teaching a, we have a, a new person that might be helping me at my job. Um, but Knock on wood, this other job that I applied to, I get to, I'll take and I get to leave and uh, this woman just replaces me. But but in the meantime, I actually have someone who is not replacing me or is not meant to replace me, but is helping me. Yet, and, I've been there before. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, well, knock on wood, I hate this job anyway, so. Um, but I Blessing I was, in disguise. I, I find myself like, because I, I tend to... In, to just confidently go about my day that when someone asks me a question, uh, if I have to teach someone a new process, I end up going like, wait, am I taking this for granted? Am I taking that for, and I have to like, go like, okay, the reason we do this is because of this. Oh, by the way, this means that this, and you know what I mean? And I had to, I had to like start drawing. Yeah. Like over explain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, because every time I said something, I was like, I mean, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Where it's like, I give an yeah. example. No, and I, I'm with you because you really don't. I, I do this all the time. And I think it, for me, it's an anxiety thing. I don't know if that if that's the case for you. But when I'm explaining something, I know I'm not good at, at explaining something. I have to I go into like great detail that I don't have to go into to full to get the full picture of what I'm trying to explain. I could I don't know, like I could be like the house was red and that would get the point across. But I could be like the house was red, kind of like a brick red but like a uh, brick without the, the chips in it. Like I, 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 that is such a stupid example of what I'm trying to express. No, but but I, I get it. Yeah. I, 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 I guess I over explain. Would you rather get hit in the head with a baseball bat or swallow a million bugs? My skull is so large that baseball bat's done for. Cool. Um, all at yeah. once or like <laughs> the bugs all at once. Oh, you have a oh. day. And it's a million. Wait, like it's a, a, it's a million hard- bugs in one day? Ah, in the head of the baseball bat, bro. For yeah. sure. Well, yeah, the bugs, I feel like the bugs are, no matter, even if they're not toxic, they're for sure going to kill you. Like, you can't eat that many bugs without dying. Are you, con- oh, wait, are, in both what scenarios? healthy bugs? No, I just don't, like, I don't think if you had, like, a, th- a million grains of rice, that would kill you, too. You know what I mean? Like, a, a drink a million cups of water in a day, you'd be dead. If I gave you a million dollars, Zachary, in six yes. months to eat your computer, would you do it? Can I like blend it in applesauce and eat it that you way? You can go at any route you want to go. Does it have to include the glass parts too? You get paid up front too. Uh, yeah, all of it. Oh, that of course. Yes, that I would definitely do that. I feel like I, there's no way I could possibly consume all that glass. I feel like metal can pass through you. I feel like there's no way I can make the glass work. I feel like you're, and unless, unless you take very small amounts over like every day for the like six months, I feel like you're going to die. There was a, like a Reddit thread one that I read when I was younger, where it was like a million dollars, but you have a year to eat a door. That's I easy. thought that was an interesting one. Yeah. I, I thought, feel like you could ship that shit down, take little bits every so often. Yeah. A minor, um, it's not really. Maybe, good maybe, maybe make them in the little pills, little door pills, little cap, little capsules of door, yeah. like yeah. sawdust. Sawdust is such a nice feeling. Okay, that's unrelated. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. There was a, uh, you know, the TLC show, My Strange Addictions. Yeah. yeah. There, there was one where the woman's was the woman's. <clears throat> the woman was addicted to eating mattresses, mattress foam. 
Yeah. And she would she would bit by bit eat mattress foam. And then when they brought her on, the doctor did like an x-ray. And you could just see this large chunk just sitting in her intestine. And the doctor's like, yeah, so that's incredibly <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's just like, he's just like. Yeah, no, that. The, or the lady that ate. Um, plastic water bottles. You remember that one? Yeah, I know that one. No, there was a lady that ate. Was it chalk? And she was that just down fine. chalk. I don't know. Just the idea of eating something so dry just creeps me out. Do my eyes look fucked up? Wait, if I look at I would, Sean, do my eyes yeah, look fucked yeah, up? They, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, you should uh, take the filter off, dude. The bit's over. I don't know what I, I think it's just the lighting causing it to like look like I have more eye here than here, but it well, looks fucked. I look like like I'm like staring or something. It actually looks like that your right eye is swollen. Um, but <clears throat> it, no, that didn't do a little, off. do a little, uh, what if I you know, just what, magazine? Up? Maybe I you got hit in the head with the, with the bat before. I didn't even get paid for it. How many bugs have you eaten, dude? Um, <laughs> what's fucking me up is I need to turn this. I have flux on, which eliminates all blue light from my display. And you guys are like incredibly yellow. You can't just say things like, I I, I turn flux on. Yeah, what do you mean? Okay, so, Marty okay, McFly. So, okay, so flux is a piece of software from. Fuck out of here, dude. Ben, Damn. if I send you a if I send you a video of a guy you playing glass as an instrument, can you put it in? Oh, send uh, also no, put in the one where the guy. I won't tell you glass. if I'm gonna if I don't I won't tell you if I did it or not, but if it just happened, that is a yes. Um I'll send it but to also you. put in the one where the guy who eats glass, he has like shark teeth because how much glass Yeah, eats. and then put in one guy, one jar. Yeah. <laughs> don't know if I can do that one. That's um, that's gonna he's be on a... TikTok now. The one the guy? One. I thought he yeah. died. <clears throat> no, I, I mean, unless he's a fake, but he has the same ankle tattoo to prove it. I thought that he sat in the jar, it broke, he bled a lot and died. Oh, oh god, yeah, we're, 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 I'm gonna mute you, dude, if you keep saying that. Dude. I you can't. Know, wait, you not know what? I, I know what it is. I literally, like, it's burnt into my fucking brain. Ben, play Mr. Hands. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that either. I, I, don't, know, I don't think, there's a, is there a video for Mr. Hands? Oh, yes. Oh, I thought it was just like a, a story. A creepy pasta? No, no, Mr. Hands was a real of the guy thing that of the guy getting his ass reamed until he died by a stallion. Yeah. You know, some people should <laughs> should die. <laughs> you do you do have something called Chance the Stallion that you did I play was with thinking your the same hands. thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah, people so maybe you should fucking die, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got That'd be very very dude, funny if I actually died. Dude. So like right now, like a leave, car uh, comes, or like, and, or like within a day, or like if I just didn't wake up tomorrow, I would. That would be. What happens? Funny. What happens? What, what? How do we like explain this to the show if you died, Sean? If he, oh, he, he dies, and he gets an autopsy, or? and then in his ass, it's the little chance the stallion this big. <laughs> yeah. What? Would, 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 would do you want it to be sad? Actually, do you want it no, to be serious? Exactly, you, I know the answer to this. He because we talk about this where he's he where where Sean says like if if he were to die like randomly he would want there to be some like get someone giving him shit at the at the uh at Not the funeral that, for it i would want someone to act like i was faking it like like start <laughs> sending letters oh by. you want like an andy I'm, kaufman scenario I'm, yeah i'm i'm saying like when i die i mean you could just fuck off like you could just whatever but like make it fun you know what i mean yeah. i told ben we should record a podcast episode in case one of us dies Oh, you know, I, I don't want a scenario where like if I get in the car accident tomorrow and I die, I don't want Ben to sit here and think about like, hey, what do I do with this? Or like if Ben gets uh, dies in a tragic conga line accident tomorrow, it's like I don't I don't want to sit around and be like, OK, I think he'd be OK with me making this a funny thing. But because oh, he's not gosh. here, do if I ben have dies to in any funny way do whatsoever? Serious? <laughs> His parents will hear about it. But so we yeah. can just record an episode and it'll never get released. It'll just stay on private. And then if one of us ever dies, it just gets uploaded. And we just talk about like right. the things we want to do after we die. And if we live for a long time, it'd be a fun time capsule. Yeah, you know, there was a there was a Lex Friedman uh, podcast with Mr. Beast where they I saw that was where I got some of these okay. ideas from. That was yeah. a very I liked that uh, podcast. I only got halfway through, but that was actually a good a good interview. I know people hate on Mr. Beast and stuff now, and people hate on Lex Friedman for some reason now. But that was a good interview. Yeah, yeah I, I thought that I like Lex. Yeah, I think he's it's worth your full time. Yeah, yeah, I'd fuck him. Yeah, I would. 
Yeah. I mean, the people from the Soviet bloc, I mean, they're just kinky, right? I mean, like yeah. they've been sexually deprived for so long that once they're liberated and, and can enjoy capitalism, yeah. they want to just, they just enjoy um, all sorts of naughty, naughty things. Oh. Oh. Speaking of naughty, here. naughty things, well, hold on. Did you just assume our guest? Who else would it be? Hello. <laughs> it's Chabalumba. Told you. Hello. Out of the accent. Hello. What's up, dude? What's going on? Oh, hey, how are you, friend? <laughs> not the voice I was expecting from Chumba Wumba. Mm? Nope, not different person, different thing. <laughs> mm? No, <laughs> I gotta cut that. That's a joke. I can I keep. Am... This is our guest. Oh, what's We're up? What's up? Guest in, and you, you're, 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 you're fumbling the bag, okay. home slice. Go ahead. Absolutely. That that been in, in, can you introduce our guest, Zach? <laughs> yeah, this is our this is our this is our famous guest. I definitely know his name. Um, known f- from various parts of the world. He's cool. He went to school. I'm sure. It's uh, Bilov Gustavo, and I am a dog. Bilov Gustavo, the dog. Everyone, dude. Brian Put clap in chat for Bilov Gustavo. I'm in excited about chat. this. No. No nope. arch rival, actually. You're not a fan of Brian Griffin? B-Law? No. No. Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So we've had we this the, the first episode of this show was three white guys in a Discord call talk about mm-hmm. cancel culture. Ever since that moment, I've been pushing us for diversity. Um, Sean has been a major fucking problem yeah. <laughs> uh, for that this whole time, and finally, I found someone that's not a white straight male that's also not Isaiah. It, 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 the only person that would agree to it is an actual dog. Wait, but we had Alexis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yes. but your girlfriend is imaginary according what? to YouTube shorts that's comments, true. That's true, that's right? True. Yes. She's and, just a PNG. Right, right, and right, and right. woman and is about Gustavo equal. is definitely woman, not just a PNG. Woman is roughly equal to dog. Yeah. What kind of dog are you? Mm. What kind of dog oh, are you? you want to know? I'm Eastern a party. European. I'm a party animal. <laughs> Buddy, let me tell answer? you, I am <laughs> a pure, answer. I am a pure bred American. You're a pure bred American dog, dog named Bilof Gustavo. I purely want yes. to breed an American. What? I purely want to breed an American. Yeah, Bilof, come on podcast, because when Bilof is not licking on but he is listening to this podcast thinking, how do I get on there? Licking on butt. Licking my own butt. <laughs> this is what I was saying. This is the only person that would agree to come on this show after our antics. Wait, I don't What's the licking butt thing? I don't understand that. Don't, don't wait. That's what he did in his free time, you goob. I, I I've heard about it, licking other people's butts. I feel that's like a popular thing. No, that's for people. He's a dog. Oh, your dog, your dog is like the nastiest dog, man. You should know. When my dog licks licks her, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like mac and cheese. Philo, <laughs> you know anything about that? Hey, Bilo. Nope. All right. <laughs> so, anyways, we've got a great show for you tonight. We got Bilo the dog, uh, yep. purebred American. Purebred we got American. Um, we got uh, Benny Benjamins over there, rapper. Um, we got oh. me. I'm pretty cool. And then you got the pilot from Halo Infinite down there you know, as you know, well. The pilot too. from Halo Infinite. Can I just talk to you about this for a second? Sean just did something that reminded me of something that he did back in oh. high school. <laughs> Yeah. We were he, we we would hang out in high school every so often. He would just come back. Uh, he'd really, he'd hang out at my place. I never have been inside of Sean's house. To it's this actually day. it's it's for a reason. <laughs> I've known Sean for like ten plus. My house is actually disgusting. My parents are slobs. But I've I known Sean for thirteen years. Half almost half my life, and I've never been in his house. In East, I've been in his house. Sorry, I've been in his his house in. 
Um, on, really quick, have you ever been to his house? I haven't been to his house, but I've been to his house. Uh, it on what's the what's your address in in Massachusetts? That's the one. Um, um, uh, TikTok. If you want to leave flaming bags of shit on that address, uh, feel free. There you go. Oh, are you disconnected? Yeah, I think I that think was Beetle the dog, everyone. Issue. Yep. Strats. Oh, hey, it's Beetle oh, the dog, back. everyone. Hey, dude. Dad. Dad. <laughs> hey, hey, hello. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Sorry, you are slowing up so much. You're throwing up? We all have cats stop throwing up. What <laughs> happened? What did you eat? But yeah, Bilov, when Bilov isn't licking his own butt, he's throwing up listening to the regurgitated podcast. Uh, oh, very, very thematic with that. I see. Okay. He's just super yes. dedicated to the show. He's actually just incredibly sick. I didn't, I didn't know. I was going to say, I don't know we had a, a fan that was a dog, but I also didn't know we had a, a, a commenter a that <laughs> called you, Zach. He called you retarded. I, w- I went to his... Uh, deleted his, the, deleted, his, deleted his comment. Did he? I went to his I'm, YouTube, I'm pretty sure. I went yeah, to his YouTube yeah, 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 channel, YouTube. and he's a kid. He was just a kid dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to. Is it mean if we just bully random people I, on I, YouTube shorts? If we just pull up, if we just nah. find people that do hate comments, and then we go to their channel and just watch their let's videos? Ask, let's ask Bilov. No, Bilov says, Bilov says it's okay. Oh, okay. But we're good, I think. Yeah, we're good. Bilov. Love has B Love has tradition in his village. No comments. No comments. Which village no from comments. Purebred America? Oh, there's so many villages. I live in the small apple. The, oh. Not to be confused with the big apple. No, that would be the opposite. That was where so Donald some, Trump is from. So yes. The small B-Love, apple. What small is that like? apple, Donald Trump, big apple. So Oklahoma, you know, we are constantly odds. Oklahoma ish area? Mm-hmm. Hmm? <laughs> it's sure. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> okay. It's sort of like sure. Springfield from The Simpsons. You never really yeah. smoked cigarettes. We can't. We Every can't state has a little apple. Yeah. How do we know that? That's that so is a little true, apple. Friend. Check a fucking map, nerd. How am I going to find all the apples on a map? Apple Look maps. Up, go to go. Dark Tolerance. That was way better than whatever the fuck I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> um, I hate the Big Apple, by the way. Can I just talk about this? You already said you hate New York. Yeah, I'd you would love the like Little Apple, then. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah Sean, Sean, he fucking... We're, we used to hang out in high school, and I didn't drive in high school. I didn't drive until I was <laughs> Oh, in you're college. talking about the, the incident. Yeah, so we were driving. <laughs> we were almost home, and Sean... <laughs> Looks at me fully while driving, and he goes. He he, he puts pulls down, pulls down his eye. I'm going cross-eyed. He goes, Sharingan from Naruto, and we're very off the road. <laughs> he yeah, completely I mean, we were almost drove completely off the road. Very funny. You guys are wild. <laughs> dude, that was, yeah, a, that was a good time. Are. We were we were big yeah. Naruto fans, dude. What can I say? I watch. I watch. I watch. Be love talking dog, but you two are cool cats. Yeah, I watched him rob a liquor store. Bilov? Yeah. 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 Bilov, Bilov had to show a few sucker asses uh, how they do it in the small apple. You're only you're a liquor ass. You you don't fuck with them sucker yeah. asses though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Liquor ass, liquor store. Liquor mouth. I barely know her, so I yeah. Liquor yep. ear. That's a thing you did, <laughs> yeah, right? That, yeah. That, I'm not oh, I don't like the ear. No, I would never do that to to a woman. Oh, okay. Flashback. When Here's they a- stick your their tongue in your ear, dude? No! <laughs> He's the licky. Yeah, I'm the licky. I, I get the licks. Yeah, he gets, he gets the licks. Oh, that's true. Bro, do you, do you remember the term? I don't think it's used anymore. But in high school, everybody would call people licks. You'd be like, yo, you're a lick. I haven't heard that term since high school. Yeah, you know, Haley, Haley, called me a, Haley called me an offie like a couple hey, days ago. Hey, one million dollars, <laughs> but you get... so old. One million dollars, but you get two hooks up your nose and they pick you up and drag you around town. For, Wait, for how much? Which town? One million. 
Big oh, apple, little apple. apple. Okay. Little apple. <laughs> well, this we is the little apple and the small, small apple. Small apple. Small apple. That it would not be too crazy if you were in the small apple. I'll tell that's you a, that's what. That's a Tuesday in the small apple. Uh, I'll tell you what. Everybody millionaires and everybody's noses are stretched. Yeah, I bet. Like Pinocchio's? Nope. It's a good, good thing. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, Roger, yeah. Dead. When you lie, when you lie in the little apple, your belly gets big and your feet get small. That's me. Yep. Yep. You get big belly, small feet. Everyone's just no, rolling around. Wait, but oh, no oh, ribbon. Oh, on. I'm, I'm lost. So I know small apple sure. is a play on big apple, but is yes. there a phrase that no? says big feet, no. small belly? Or, or, or no, belly? if you tell no. why. Everybody yeah. knows if you tell lie, you get the biggest belly but small feet. No ribbon, though. If you think you get ribbon, that's myth. Okay. No ribbon. You can't you can't earn a ribbon for having the biggest no. belly, smallest feet because you got it from lying, and lying no is bad. Uh, okay, yeah, I see. When I think yes. of ribbons, I think of the of the the Samehata from Naruto. <laughs> Stop You're coughing. Early. You're I'm actually you're, sick. You're actually being abusive. I fucking hate you. What are you doing with your hands? What the hell is that? What I'm is this? actually retarded. <laughs> Autism yeah. attack going like this? What the hell? He is uh, abusing me for stimming. Dude, I dude, I used to I used to stim so hard when I was a kid. Zach, <laughs> great example. I am not gonna get it. I I showed you the bite marks on my controller on my GameCube oh, controller. Yeah. I would go <laughs> on my GameCube controller when I get when, I don't even I didn't even have to get mad. I would just get like slightly yeah. frustrated. Hey, tell the audience what you do down. with your hair again. Hey, I have this thing called Trichotillomania, <laughs> and I okay. pull out my hair. And I also uh, I also sometimes when I get really stressed, I get hives on my arms. Sorry, lady, is he taken? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know Sorry if you've seen these guns. I, I took a picture uh, the other night. I could sit in a very specific. I know I sit in a very specific way. Can we see it? Can you put the picture up on the screen? Um, yeah, I'm just in my bathroom. You can see my tummy in it a little bit. I actually I can just show it to you now. I think you guys would get a good rise out of this. Hold on. I bet uh, this so, is what I would do if I saw your tummy. That, that's what everybody likes to do to my little tummy. It's actually kind of funny. Um, so I. I mean, he's not a liar. We know if that. we ever do a live understand, meetup, is he is he getting paid to be this weird, or is he just kind of like that? Like, yeah, he's like well, that. I can if, tell. Oh, oh. I hated him in high school, so <laughs> that's true. If we I ever had, did a live, I meetup, hate him right now. <laughs> if we ever did a live meetup, Ben's got to like sh- let everyone rub his belly. There's got to be a line in the fans mm-hmm. to get to rub his belly. Okay, if anybody rub belly, it will be be <laughs> off. So that's that's a picture of my armpit, right? Okay. That, that is a, a surprisingly like well put together shot. Have you seen okay. pictures of Ben takes of himself? Now look at you know, <laughs> well, now look at a picture you. of my other armpit. <laughs> Why? What is wrong with you? You lopsided fool. I think you might have had a stroke in the womb or something. When my friend said that, when my friend, I think it was David, <clears> he <throat> said that I think that I put deodorant on only on one side. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not. I, I don't know. I just sweat on this armpit much more. I think it's. I just like lean like. I don't know. It's very weird. No, that seems weird. But it's too late now. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You're probably dying. Yeah. It didn't even smell bad either. It was like a lot of sweat. Like it was going all the way down. Oh, my that's actually thing. a symptom. That's actually one of the symptoms of dying. It's funny enough. Yeah. yeah when you there are many them. symptoms to this, death, and you have them. There. Yeah. There's <laughs> the one armpit sweating. The pulling of the hair. The, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the weird. Chewing, yeah. Oh. chewing on a controller when you're not even mad. Okay, let me find this controller. You, I feel like you guys are giving me shit. No, no you no. deserve it. Yeah, yeah. I've had you this explained to me already. I am a dog, and you told me that you chew on controllers Look, for fun. I cleaned this controller, and I can't get the 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 bite marks out of it. <laughs> How are you expecting to get the bite marks out of it? <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. So you said you clean controller and assume bite marks will just be gone. Oh, explain, <laughs> explain to me how you be, clean. I meant like the marks from the like the the, the, <laughs> the police don't want you to know the shit. secret. The plaque, <laughs> the plaque up there. That's what I mean. Not the wolf's car has a fuel dents in it. He better take it to car wash. <laughs> that is what you sound like, and I hate you for it's, it. It's total, my shit's total. Bro. It's crazy they let you get a license. Dude, I didn't get a license until I was 19 because I was working at the Dollar Tree. That's crazy. b got one when he was two. It's true, man. It's a custom in b Village. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not really that far away because 
Seven because it's seven years per you know, hey, dog year. Love, be love. Did you uh when you took uh, your uh license test, did they make you parallel bark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a you're a good you're a good friend. Thank good, you. Thank good you. Boy, that. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy dude. <laughs> That's very good boy. Do you guys remember? You guys remember Jenna the dog girl? Marble. Is, Jenna that, the, is that that girl that fucked her dog? And that's not the girl that fucked her dog. That's the girl that acts like a dog. It's her kink. Ten. Oh, that was like that was like a around. big thing for like five minutes. And she, I think she still does like stuff on Twitter only then or something. Yeah, pup play. Yeah, but that was a big thing for five anybody, minutes. Everybody was talking about it. Anybody who pretends to be dog is is disgusting. I hate them. Dog I, I can't do it. People cannot. It's so gross when somebody just pretends to be dog. So like when I bark, resting when I, bitch face. Wow. What about it? Oh, <laughs> I'll be here all night. Female dog. Uh, I. I <laughs> yikes! Dude. This guy's smart. Um, He's very good. I, 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 uh, question. So if I'm like, if I'm like playing with my dog and I go, does that make you cringe? Don't. Who up all night playing with their dog? Nah, he can't, you can't do that because that's our word. You can't say that. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was a hard R too that you just R. said. I know that was, it's mainly R is what he said. <laughs> I, how do you say it without, how do you say it without it? I, I, <laughs> gotta yell ever hear dogs that just scream bark like like hounds you, do not, you don't have dog pass <laughs> what 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 do i get wait so when i get the dog pass what can i say like what do i you can milk and bark you can sniff one's own butt oh but you... you're not gonna say it you're not gonna say it though well i can say it dog be love be love been dog since day one homie <laughs> homie don't know <laughs> How do you feel about the word cracker? He's a, he's a police dog. <laughs> he's a police dog. Yeah, I'm a police dog, so I'm clearly against the word cracker. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, I, I think I, I think the word cracker is actually pretty nice. I prefer honky. Honky is a, a honky I, stick. Actually, honky is definitely a very fun word. I feel like cracker has some connotations to whips and stuff that I don't like. Honky is just oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. You think true. it's related to Quaker or no? You think it's like a like what? Where, where no, no. They saw <laughs> they saw Indiana Jones and they said, "Look oh, at okay. that cracker right there," <laughs> and he's the only white man that's ever used whip. That's true. He is the only white man who's used whip. Yep, yep. Harrison Ford. Oh, One time, Mike men... Beloff, Beloff, Beloff did whippets with Harrison Ford in the hot tub. <laughs> Is he the one that pees? That himself? must have been a. Sick oh no, party. that's uh. Who's the one that pees himself? Not Liam Liam Neeson. Neeson. Liam Liam Neeson. Harrison Ford is the one that crashes planes. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool dude. Where he was talk, he? Uh, he talks like really low, and he doesn't really like show that much enthusiasm. That's his whole character, and he's old. He's very. I think he's very attractive, though. He sold weed uh, when he was like young. He was like a weed. Yeah. Dude. Well, he made hot tubs, and he put weed inside of hot tubs. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know um Tim uh, Tim the guy who plays Tim Allen right is the, is the Tim the tool Tim Allen Tim, yeah, Allen, Tim is, Allen yeah you know. you know he was uh he legitimately went to prison for trying to smuggle like two pounds of cocaine through an airport in like the eighties I thought he was like an international isn't drug he, smuggler isn't he ultra conservative oh yeah yeah he's like ultra conservative but he was like arrested in the eighties for like trying to smuggle like two briefcases of someone set him up someone offered him like a few hundred thousand dollars to bring two briefcases full of cocaine through to an airport in like Chicago or something I, I'm probably getting certain details of this wrong sure, but sure. it is crazy to see this super conservative American guy put all these values in 2023 but just know back in the day he was doing drug deals at airports mm -hmm. you know but that is just true america right it's like the yeah. libertarian dream yeah yeah i, I i'm i'm, I mean, I'm yeah, with kind it of. honestly kind of yeah when, when america i want to live in yeah so zach do you want to hang out more yeah no. buddy gotta start licking guy. our own butts though yeah yes. little liquors yeah you guys want to? What did you do this Friday night? Ah, uh, me and my friends. We just stayed out all late, looked their own butts. It was crazy. Last night was a movie, dude. Yeah, as long if you keep the our own butts in there, it it like I feel like it goes from really cool to uncool. Like if you're like, oh, I went out, I went over to the bar, you know, licked licked butts. 
I feel like that's like a cool story. Like, oh, you, 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 no. you get around. No, you're wrong. No, you're then, wrong. But if you say licked our own butts, it feels like kind of weird. Two seconds without Zaza. Dude. I, I love yes. pissing. I love pissing Sean off with with Zoomer terms. It's so funny. I now, my face now I'm when getting I can't to lick my own butt. I can't see your face. Picture dog. That me. Okay. Okay. All right. Do my eyes look fucked up? I I've been saying, yeah, buddy. I've been saying adjective ah uh, constantly, and it's to the point where. It's it's turning into like swag. Like I said, swag for a while, ironically. And See, then the issue is ironic. a true Zoomer wouldn't break it down as adjective ah. They would just say the thing. They wouldn't like break it down into the grammatical structure yeah, of how it is used. I guess, used, no I guess that was kind of goofy ah of me. Mm, yeah. See, that's suicidal to me. That that like triggers a deep resentment for life. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty. I, I, I think. A, it's, I, I have a Zoomer coworker who calls everyone, refers to everyone as king or queen, which very it pisses me off. Because do you not call your do you not call your significant other queen? As a joke, baby. Like, oh, you're uh, cringe, dude. Might you, be, you might be like, why didn't, why didn't you do the dishes? Go off, queen. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess. But uh, I, no, I wake I, up Alexis every morning with a video of a cat, and I say, "Good morning, queen. You, you want money for Uber Eats?" <laughs> But that's I've like, been all right, all right, really quick, really quick pause. Ben, you do realize I have access to the history to our AI voice bot that we secretly created, right? We can get into actually doing those videos because I have actually, three of them ready. I was going to say the audience has no clue. We've never talked about this, but we've secretly turned everyone. This is a weird way to drop this announcement. Yeah, we secretly, we've secretly turned all of our podcast people into uh, bots. Ben. Uh, make up something to put in here that's like 10 seconds long to show it off as an example. Hi, uh, this is Zach Regurgicast from Student Loan Support. I wanted to remind you that your temporary hardship forbearance will be ending January 31st, 2022. And to be aware, your loans will resume automatically at the standard repayment rate. Our records indicate you are eligible for student loan forgiveness programs, but never completed the required documents. If you want to proceed with the applications, please call us today at 914-971-17681. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. I've, uh... Anyways, Ben, you do realize I could see what you're doing on your own time? Yeah. Okay. Just just well, checking. Is, I is he typing in, uh, say you're a sexy man, <laughs> like eight in the morning. Do you want me to? Ben, no, no I? don't, 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 because it might be part of the videos that I made. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Let him do okay. the videos. He I, I, I made three videos. I'll just play them. I'll play them. Is that for today? Yeah. Oh, I'm actually excited. I'm actually fucking yeah. pumped. But I made there were, three you videos. Do realize, I, I don't know. There were a few things in there where I'm like, I don't know if Ben knows I could actually read what he's doing right now with the fucking chat bot. I think there was one where I was like, can I nuzzle your dick or something like that? I don't know. All the ones involving your girlfriend those are the ones I'm referencing. Um, oh, I don't even know. I, I'm sure I'm pretty sure I put some goofy shit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, goofy. Goofy. Ah. Even. So I have I have three videos. I'll, I'll just start playing them. Are we ready? Um, are we ready for this? <laughs> I'm happy you actually brought content for this. Yes, I am okay. ready. I'm, this is the first one. I'm just doing them in, in whatever order they show up in VLC. Oh. So here is the video I made one of them. This is number one. I'm hitting play. Hey, how's it going, guys? And welcome to Best Trends. Today, we're going to be going over five Discord podcast hosts who've sworn pretty much all Discord podcast hosts have slipped up and sworn before. I, But today, I thought, why not share with you guys five Discord podcast hosts who've sworn there are going to be some pretty <laughs> big fuck, podcast hosts in this like video, this? such as Regurgitated Zachary. All very big podcast hosts, and all have slipped up and sworn before... So let's get straight into it. Number five, Jay Schlatt. Jay Schlatt is the host of the Chuckle Sandwich uh, podcast, along with Ted Nivison and formerly Charlie Slime Cycle. On episode 56, he was talking to Scott the Woz Wozniak Wozniak, where they were discussing how to properly use a bidet when Jay Schlatt said this. Uh, you can get the breath or you can go in and, and really do the whole Naruto oh, shit. It's kind of weird for someone like Jay Schlatt to curse on his podcast because he has a lot of younger viewers. <laughs> Number four, Hugging Bees. 
Hugging Bees, a.k.a. Andrew, was recording an episode of the official podcast with a few of his co-hosts. In this episode, rapper Froggy Fresh joins before his appearance at Creator Clash 2 when asking a question Dude, regarding Froggy's... You don't know the video that this is referencing at all, do you? I don't. I don't. I'm actually <laughs> very video. confused that you even made any of this. <laughs> There's a video. It's called Five Fortnite YouTubers Who've Sworn. And it's like a big meme because it's like, you fucking stupid ass kid. And I do the same thing and I use the same art in everything. All of it is like a, a complete emulation of that. I, but it's Discord podcast hosts. And okay. You'll see what I'm just waiting for it to get to us. Opponent Chris Ray Gunn, Hugging Bees, says this. Just like, let's put aside all the, all the charactering and all the showboating and whatever. Just be honest with us. Be real. Do you think you can kick Chris's ass? He could have said butt or tush, but he had to use the A word in this scenario. I know it doesn't really make sense to me either. Why use a swear? Number three, anything for views. Anything for views or as his fans why, call him why Chad. Are we watching was so recording much an episode of, of Cold Ones with his nothing. co-host Max Mo for Pokemon <laughs> funny, and special guest Belle Delphine. <laughs> about five minutes in when questioning Belle about her recent hiatus, Chad said this. You just came off a hiatus as well. What was the reason for that? Was there any particular reason or you are just like, eh, f it? It seemed a little bit unnecessary for Chad to say the F word in this scenario. It kind of goes to show you how fucking ape-like the Australians are. Number two, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast was on Train Wrecking Television's podcast, The Scuffed Podcast, when he was questioned about his ultra-famous Squid Game video. Uh, when discussing the decision-making behind the video, Mr. Beast said this. The, you know, it ended up costing like three and a half, four million dollars. It, it made it easier in my head to like do that because if not, and I didn't have that like little market research to see the demand, I the whole time I would have been like, F like, I don't know. Of all of the Discord podcast hosts on this list, I, I'm most disgusted by Mr. Beast. Uh, I, you really should be watching your language when you're the most subscribed YouTuber there is. Number one, regurgitating Benjamin. On the 17th episode of the Regurgitator podcast, Ben and his co-host Zach are talking to Sean, better known as Ted Evil. They're discussing which day of the week is the worst to have a birthday on when Ben says this. Sunday birthdays are for dumb pieces of shit. Is, is, mm. that, that's just how it is. Hey, if your birthday is on a Sunday this year, fucking unsubscribe. Yeah, unsubscribe. you should kill, your, <laughs> yeah, get, kill yourself. Get the f*** out of, I don't, I don't want any <laughs> Sunday see, birthday guys. Spot. I couldn't really watch the clip long enough. This man is so ugly. Do you see the space between his eyes? Unfortunately and unluckily, that all these Discord podcast hosts have to swear, but they are allowed to say whatever they want and do whatever they want as well. All of them are pretty much adults. Well, they are all adults. But some people don't like when people swear and won't watch those Discord podcasts because of it. But that's their choice. And those Discord podcast hosts clearly know that. And so if they really truly cared about it, then they I'm probably would. just watching Sean's care. face so, yeah. react to this. Not Hello, react. Zachary ah! Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so much effort went into fucking that. All right, I guess we'll just get right into the second one because it auto-played even though I specifically told it not to. This is the second video. <laughs> what? Did, was that Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Yeah, his neighbor would be off. Okay, just making sure. All right, here is uh, here is here is here is episode two. Hello, Zachary Marshall from Regurgitated Podcast. Hey, Joe Hello. Robinette Biden from America. I would like you to be my running mate in the 2024 election cycle. Fuck Kamala. When I shit my diaper, she always gives me the whole nine. I am done with that bitch. Done. Okay, well, what do I have to do? Like Kamala, you don't actually have to do anything. <laughs> Let's just play Halo and Infinite Custom Games Browser. That shit gets me so razzled. Zach, can you fucking chill, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. That is so <laughs> cringe. Cut it out, Zach. <laughs> this is so fucking cringe. Kill yourself, cringe. literally. I'm serious. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the fuck out. Stop laughing. Why did you make this? <laughs> Dude, it's not even funny. <laughs> Sound like you're choking. <laughs> You're such a stupid pussy. Look at all the other players that are left. And you're focused on me. You're literally so trash at this game. How the fuck are you this bad? Fuck off, Zach. I'm not playing this with you anymore. I hate you, dumbass. <laughs> Joe. What? Hey, Joe. What do you want? I talk frag thanks to you. Shut the fuck up, dude. I'm done! 
God, God damn it, I shit myself again. Kamala, Kamala, I shit my pants again and I forgot the diaper. No, I literally just forgot it. Uh, it wasn't on purpose. Kamala, sorry. Oh my God, sorry about that, Kamala. It's in your hair. <laughs> what is your what is your actual fucking problem? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck caused you to make that? Uh, I, I don't like how you like that one more than the first one. We put so much more effort into the first one. No, I, I could tell. The, the first one, I could tell, had a genuine lot of effort put into it. <laughs> a, I didn't get the reference. B, 90% of it was not about us. <laughs> and then I, I, I just... I, I, the I'm, setup. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So I, you you playing Halo Infinite Custom Games rather with, with Joe Biden. I, that was just... I, I, I was like, what do I have? What video do I have of Zach that he has not seen? And it was that clip from Halo. Was oh, was okay, that really me playing Halo? Yeah, yeah. That's, that was from the, time, the one time you had. How do you have a clip of the one time we played Halo together? Because it was funny because you kept, you kept, you, you were just you, focusing me and not telling anybody else. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> um, okay. If and that's just a niche reference that the audience is expected to remember. Something that they never saw me playing well, your name's on Halo there, with dude. you. It says chemical paint killed you every time. That's crazy, dude. All right. This is the video yeah, number three. Uh, this one, I think everyone will get. Um, it's less of a, less ridiculous than the last one, but uh, I hope you enjoy. Number 15. Ben was telling Zach a story when he was interrupted by two old men. They began berating him for his appearance and stuttered. Number 14, hun. A filler episode, Ben and Zach talk about future plans that they'll never do. Number 13. Zack kept the crew awake using his hilarious jokes about not saying the word poop. What a dumbass piece of shit. Number 12. Zack and Grumps berated Ben for having digestive issues and his issues with coconut water. Number 11. I didn't watch this episode because its title was boring. Number 10. Ben shaves his face before premiering his debut hip-hop song, Possum in a Peanut. Number 9. Zack and Sean say a lot of slurs, a lot of them. Number 8. The regurgitated boys are joined by someone with some level of actual success, and they proceed to be the worst interviewers on this side of the Nile. Number seven. Andrew Tate makes an appearance on the show. The regurgitated boys express their love for sex trafficking. Number six. The boys stall before Zach wins $2 in the lottery phone. Number five. Ben, Zach, and Sean begin drafting a letter to the Unabomber, their <laughs> idol guest. Number four, the boys talk about their love That's for Miss Beast and Elon that. Musk. Number three, Zach explains his diarrhea issue in great detail. Number two. <laughs> Number R1. Ben and Zach try to awkwardly hold the conversation for an hour and a half. Nothing of value comes from it. Okay. You should make more of these with... Um, uh, the effort should perhaps be placed more in conceptually instead of the, the, the editing it. room. Condensing yeah. I, but I, I actually did like... I liked the um, Joe Biden one and I liked this one a lot. The, you um, just like the poopy sounds. You like the farting sounds <laughs> of Joe Biden's ass. It's happening to your head. Your neck shrinking. Oh, it feels horrible. Milo understands yeah. all of these references because he watches the show. Yeah, big fan, big fan, big Milo head. No, oh, wait, pause. I, if I'm going to get fucking criticized here. No, no, no. All you fuckers want is your own goddamn voices in the fucking videos and your re reactions to you. I put so much was effort. In the video. I put so much effort into that fucking best trends video. And I was like, everybody will know this reference and nobody fucking understood it. That's your fault, not mine. Pussies. Go buy a controller, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, actually, I'm going back to Brian's house tomorrow, and we're playing more Sonic Heroes. I'm gonna, and I'm bringing that controller, and I'm biting it more. Zach, I have another piece of content for you if you want to do it. Yeah, up to you. It's, I mean, it, it's been after go, bit. Uh, I'm gonna go get a fork real quick. I only need I, Zach well, for this. <laughs> okay, well, we do have Below here. We want to utilize his time for a moment. Oh, I forgot. Is it below or below? Below. 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 How do you feel? Wait, where, where are you stationed right now? The uh, small apple. All right. That's where you feel about all apple. Kendrick Lamar is my neighbor. Kendrick Lamar is your neighbor. Okay. 
So Compton. I would assume that's somewhere in Cal- California, maybe. Man, it might be. How? What are you? What is your stance on the war in Ukraine? <laughs> Uh, Bilov, uh, Bilov kind of hate both sides. What are the two sides? Uh, <laughs> Ukraine and then Bilov army. Oh, I see you why you're Bilov army. You hate Bilov army. Yes. Um, that's interesting. Why don't you just tell them to step down, back off. That's what happens Stay. a lot of the times when, like, in, like in Blizzard, when there was a lot of sexual harassment and assault happening. Oh, well, you're he, saying Ukraine should just open a Bill Cosby room? That really would uh, fix a lot of issues. Hey, for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, look up Blizzard Bill Cosby room, and I'm not just making shit up. Okay. That's a fun story. Uh, I'll Google that. Are you actually I, unaware, Sean? Mm-hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? You don't know about the Bill Cosby room? No, it's weird because I have. You can cut that, right? You know what I was thinking? I was thinking, you know, wouldn't it you be don't funny? You do a lot of it, so. That's true. I'm curious to like, hear what you saved your thinking <laughs> energy for. I was like, wouldn't it be funny? I was like, wouldn't it be funny? All right, like an interesting thing if we like live stream the show tonight. Like if, if I just hit live and go start streaming instead of start recording. Mm-hmm. What, so Thank all 40 God people can ignore it? Yeah. What if we had like a lot of viewers when that happened? That'd yeah, that's probably what they've been waiting on is, oh, I hope it goes live. Then I'll watch. I do want to do a live show at some point, but I'm waiting to build to that. I don't think just going live is how you get yeah, people. We're going to do, do reg live. And it's I was talking be... to Isaiah, and he told me we should do polls on our Clips channel, so I might do that soon. Apparently, one of the lead developers for World of Warcraft had a hotel room that he would invite or otherwise get female co-workers to, <laughs> where he he called it the Cosby Suite because he would essentially rape them. <laughs> Jesus Holy Christ. Jesus Christ. Dude, but honestly, but... wow, still kind of fire. <laughs> But no, but the picture, I mean, that would look like a dope hotel room if you go with friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Zach, have you ever played an, uh, an MMORPG? I played No Man's Sky. <laughs> <laughs> that was wow, that was what you came back with after you thought that long? Uh, it was no Man's uh, Sky? He has to be careful. He doesn't know when you're trying to trick him. What can I be what could I be tricking him into? Ah! You would uh, see? What the I was not expecting that, to be honest. <gasps> Zach! Uh, next time we record the podcast, I'm gonna have new headphones. Whoa. I'm still waiting. How long do you think it'll be until those webcams we were looking at are back in stock? I just got paid by my client today. I want to buy I, them. I don't know. Are they in, are they in stock? Are you in the I, I, I put myself, yeah, we're looking at getting into the Romanian cam business. Um, now that there's an open, a power vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I put my email on the list to be notified, and I've yet to be notified, but I will uh, look it up on their website right now. What kind of headphones does a dog use? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh uh, what what uh, the Raycon? <laughs> the the in-ear ones or the over the ear ones? Yeah, Ray J really uh found the perfect ergonomics for the canine eardrum. But wait, but there's so it many is. different types of ears on dogs. No, there are yeah, ergonomics. We're like Ermigard, oh these headphones are the perfect fit for a dog. And that is the catchphrase that he used and Beloff had to buy as <laughs> many as he could. <laughs> Can you imagine? Holy fuck. I just think about the sex tape and him saying Ermigard in the sex tape. That's crazy. Yeah, well he came and he said Ermigard. Ermigard Kim Kardashian. 
you. <laughs> Scandinavian Ray J. Okay. Oh que- my god, Kim Kardashian. All right, Can question. I please spelunk in your Percy? <laughs> <laughs> question. Is there anything that got, got Percy unfunny? Jackson and Kim's vagina? That's a book I'm making. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> God, I hate women. Oh, my God. Kanye West, do not steal my girlfriend. Question, please, please, please. <laughs> Question. What? Yeah, is the anything, man in the back. Has anything gotten unfunny that quick as Irma Gerd? You. I don't know. I thought that was pretty this good. Show. Was Irma Gerd ever funny? Was it always just ironic? I think it was funny. I was like 2009 for like 18 minutes. Irma Gerd Gersperms. Irma Gerd Lerberbergs. Hey, can you make some, can you make like a, some like really engaging TikTok con- content right now, Zach? Hey everyone, today we're going to make some really engaging TikTok content. Uh, look at Ben, look at how wide his <laughs> eyes are. He's ruining my video. He's ruining my video. He's ruining my video. Hey, <laughs> Uh, put in the comments. Put in the comments. Um, uh, something. something. Wolf! <laughs> what happened? What happened? Beloved got scared. I don't know what happened. Beloved, beloved, what the fuck? What the fuck? Beloved got scared. Beloved, no. Beloved, no. Beloved, beloved didn't like. Beloved smells the Chinese government when you talk TikTok, and beloved got fucking scared. <laughs> I, I hey, put in the co- put, put in the put in the comments one thing you're scared about about the Chinese government. I have something. Wow, well, what? What are you scared about with the Chinese government? Um, they are in our pockets. I, I they're on my payroll, bitch. <laughs> yep, absolutely right. Anything else? You heard that right. You heard it here first. The Chinese are in the regurgitated podcasts pockets. Let me see. I actually might have like a made in China sticker. Maybe probably made in Taiwan or something. I don't. Same diff. Do you have anything in your pocket? <laughs> what happened? I see. Is he? Is that like a wine? No, I'll be off playing with toy right now. <laughs> okay. I have nothing in my pockets either, other than the Chinese government. So, what were you checking for? Chinese government. What happened? Uh, he loved our Chinese government and he had to protect. <laughs> okay. just make sure. they, they, they are making very sure. sneaky too. You, sometimes they'll sneak right up on you. Yeah, be loaf and Chinese dog and Chinese government no mix. The fur on the back on his back stands up. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, uh, speaking of uh, uh, racial Asian jokes towards dogs, I was at a, my grandfather's funeral on Monday. And um, my uncle was at dinner table. We're, we're after the funeral. You know, my grandfather is is, is deep in there, and uh, we're we're at a diner. <laughs> we're, we're at a diner, and my uncle is just talking about the story about how his neighbor got a new dog, but she can't control it. And we're, and we're like, "Oh, that sucks." She should like you know take it to puppy class or whatever. And he's like, "Well, she should just tell him that she's half Vietnamese. Then he'll learn some respect." And we were like, "Jesus Christ." <laughs> it's like it's like 11 a.m. at this diner, buddy. We need to like ch- turn that shit down. Dude, I I love racial humor. Zach, I got a question. I don't have an answer for you. Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> do you rem- do you remember last week? Uh, two weeks ago, you three weeks ago, you um, yes, you, I can remember back in time. Thank you. You had a little specific laugh. Really? Was it that or was it the? <laughs> I just want you to connect with Beloved in some way because that's Scooby Doo. Beloved's a dog. Beloved, Beloved, no solve mystery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that Beloved would be where you don't mysteries. connect. The dog thing was the part that I was. Beloved, Beloved doesn't solve mysteries. He creates them. He yeah. Beloved, Beloved commits crimes. Yeah. Beloved, he sniff ass and kill people. Sniff ass, kill people. And I'm all that ass. Oh, Beloved has plenty of ass. <laughs> Let's go. He's a corgi. Oh, we now know. That's sick. 
Yeah, corgis oh, no have the fucking best. shit. Oh. All right, top, uh, tier list: dog ass corgis, A tier. Corgis are A, one hundred percent. No, no, we're not doing this. We're not ranking dog asses on the podcast. German Shepherd, German Shepherd, also A tier. Golden mm. Retriever, long hair Golden Retriever. I'm going to say C tier. You can't really see much. Short hair Golden Retriever, lab kind of thing. I'm thinking like B tier. He is like really into this. Great Danes yeah. have no Great ass. Great Danes have no ass, just like the whippers. Yeah. Hey, Zach, can you make some <laughs> engaging that... TikTok comment what? content? What? Can you make some engaging TikTok content? Hey, everyone, put in the comments down below one thing you hate about your mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> She's a stupid bitch. <laughs> he... I think that Beloff is not for I think he he gets sussed out by people that hate their moms. Beloff is not for kids. Beloff no. Beloff is not for kids. As soon as you say TikTok, he's going to start barking. Get oh. get get ready with me while I go to my new um local uh um kombuchery. Kombuchery. Get ready with yeah, me. Big, get ready with Beloff while he goes to kombucha factory. First thing Beloff does, Beloff has to boil water. Beloff walks out door. <laughs> Beloff, Beloff hits up home slice Kendrick and we go to get some fresh kombucha with the fam. <laughs> get ready with, the with fam? me. Ben, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys want to go to Li- you guys want to go to Liberal Burger after this? Is that a place? Yeah, Liberal Burger. You want to get some woke fries? Oh, okay, I see. I don't get it. We're going to Do you want to go to Liberal Burger after this? We can get some woke fries and want to uh, go to, to, go to Shake Shack. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Beloved Belov loves the hidden menu at the uh, at the liberal burger. <laughs> can, uh, can I get some woke fries Pelosi style? <laughs> no, uh, can you tell like a dumber yeah. joke so I can get it? Okay, sure. <laughs> Jesus no, Christ, like, John. Okay. Orange well, said I didn't get it. <laughs> Stop playing with the fucking little goddamn squeaky, bro. I'm sorry. Beloff. Beloff is having a good time and he's not allowed to play. Beloff can't play with toy. No. Wait. Who, who's Beloff again? Oh, you can do a, a, a secret menu. Uh, eggs. Eggs. Biden style. Just scrambled eggs. Uh, which, let's come up with some more. Oh, one like eggs Biden style. No, be like, I think we should. I think we should let that sit for a little bit, <laughs> and, then, and then we'll move on to the next menu item. We should really, we should really let that one go. Bernie sandwich. Yeah, Bernie. The Ooh, most isn't it crazy that the most like most powerful uh, person in our country shits his, his pants. <laughs> is sorry, is Beloff. Every person oh, yeah. shits themselves, I think. We all do. It. Fun, Isn't it crazy fun, the most powerful yeah. person in this country licks his own butt? And yeah, listens to I mean, the fun, fact, podcast. fun fact about America, Beloff is the most powerful. Period? Oh. Yeah. Exclamation period. point. Bam. Period. period ah, even. Do you have That's any friends, period. Beloff? What are you saying to me? That's what curious. Are, like, curiosity. What do you, do you Neighbor Kendrick. A, you see, yeah, you see a cool ass dog like Beloff walking down the street, and you think I'm not gonna hang out with that guy. Who's that, Kendrick? No, Beloff. What the fuck? Oh, I wouldn't hang out with. You see, Kendrick. Ben bites his controller, so he's not really able to follow. Uh, Beloff, <laughs> Beloff yeah, I some brain damage. Beloff would not hang out with you. The uh, how many cavities do you have in your molars? These these are the questions you want to ask. <laughs> these are you are host of podcast, and your first question is, "Hey, buddy, That's what's what the, the question. what's that dentist?" This is the first question he's asked Beloff. He has yet to ask Beloff any questions. <laughs> no, no, you got to understand. Is the we got a comment earlier this week that said it was it was on a, a short where Sean was just saying that he was cold, <laughs> and the comment was. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start a podcast, and then it was the podcast, you know, colon whatever. 
I just think that's so funny, and I just want to live with that. Like that, that's that such a, a funny thing to live by. Not a great short too, because I when I edit shorts, I go through the whole podcast, and anything remotely short worthy, it just gets clipped. And so there's a bucket of like eighty of them for like an episode, right? And so there's some of them that definitely are not like quality enough to just send up there but when i got sick i I genuinely could not cognitively function so i just selected them at random and uploaded it and so when i saw that got commented on that one i was like yeah i was like yeah that one makes sense it's not like it's not top tier telly dude i've ben you completely like i don't have no idea what ben said but there was a comment that said i want to start a podcast colon so yeah, the, the video, so the video podcast. was you. The video was you explaining how cold it was outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you had previously in an episode explained how cold it is outside. I had clipped it and put like melodramatic music over it. So the clip is essentially just thirty seconds of you talking about yeah, it is cold being it. cold. And so the person comments, "Hey guys, do you want to start a podcast?" The, po- the podcast. Uh, 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 I don't know why Ben explained it like grammatically, like that would like click but, but i get it yeah, i see yeah yeah yeah. i saw that comment i wrote that comment <laughs> i've been really liking i've been really enjoying the shorts that you've made zachary besides the Thank cold you. one yeah that one what are we even doing folks we should start a podcast called the cold ones <laughs> yeah did you hear that one of them swore mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> zach i just miss you bud I miss you too, pal. Yeah, we should hang out more. Do you want to get together? Do you want to do an IRL episode and eat soup? I have to buy, I have to buy cameras first. Like I, do you really have to buy cameras? I thought you had cameras. I have the DSLR that isn't good. I want to... I, okay, here's we'll my, here's my theory. Here's my theory. No, listen, listen and write the fuck now, Zachary. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all the commotion <laughs> just got in, all, all stressed out. Um... I think that there's more charm in using a handy cam than a DSLR. What is a handy cam? That's like, like, is that what needs to go up? I think he up, said uh, he's handy cammed. <laughs> he told me he was mentally handy cammed earlier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got I have autism. <laughs> that's what you're talking about. <laughs> no, um, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like it's the it's the it's the the cylindrical the cylindrical. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the c- cylindrical uh, <laughs> uh, ca- uh, cameras that have like a little, you have to have to have a little thing to, when you're trying to figure out the best place to set up your camera. Yeah, it was riding a penis for that one. Okay. You're on my, well, I'm trying um, to explain the handicap. <laughs> it's the little cameras that are like, like, the, like they're literally like this, they're like a little fucking hoagie. And you can pull out the. the How are you explaining a camera as a little fucking hoagie? How does that an explanation for and a you camera? Pull out, you can pull out the, the viewfinder and it's just like that. Out. It's just like that. It's And then you record. If you could promise me, love, that a camera had a hoagie, that would be a handy cam. <laughs> <laughs> my would, thought. Would, my, 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 here's, here's, here's my thought for what. Um, an IRL podcast thing would look like and tell me if I'm sounding insane. Imagine I fly in, right? This would just be a weekend thing. Set like literally like a GoPro up on your dashboard or like we'll we'll figure this out, but we'll get like a GoPro or two in the car with some lav mics. And as we drive back, there's like podcast one is just like a low quality thing like in the car. We stop, enjoy whatever we're going to enjoy like interpersonally for a moment insert whatever you want to hoagie hoagie. exactly the hoagie um and then we set up like an actual professional thing before we leave would be those are called handy cams or you're calling them uh mike's was called the handy cams that's what i call it but it's 447 dollars and i want two of them so 447 dollars because DSLRs are so fucking icky and they get to like have all the lighting, everything correct and the focus correct. Handy cams you just pull out and you use. And I think that is much more charming in my opinion. And I also don't want to spend a thousand dollars on two cameras or two thousand dollars on two cameras, I guess. One day we'll get an A, an a, a Sony A7 or A S3, whatever they're Isn't called. That like $1,800, like something yeah. super expensive. Yeah. yeah. I just learned what a dummy battery is today. I didn't know what that was. I could have been using that for years. I could have been using that for this camera instead. 
I didn't have to buy a Bro, Brio. I just want this freaking webcam I've been looking at. Why have they been out of stock for weeks? I don't know. I don't know. It's it, what three hundred dollars it was, right? Uh, it was either three or four hundred. Can we check. can't start season two until then. Ace Cam Pro price. Oh yeah, two ninety nine. That's actually. I don't really know if Sean's on his phone or he fell asleep. Yeah, no, I'm texting. Sorry. Oh, I think you're fine. I just didn't know if you were sleeping. You felt. Hey, you, you have more bits. You have more content. You want me to do them? Yeah. Do it? Okay. It's a command. Yes, sir. Oh my God, he really went all out for fucking. Welcome. Welcome, Zachary, and 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 friends, to the Twitch emote quiz. I should have had a like slide. I should have had a slide for Zachary. Zachary C. Marshmallows. I should have had a slide that explained it, but I'm just going to explain it via via my mouth. You're going to get the name of an emote. Okay. You're gonna. You're going to. Everybody, but you both can play. But Sean, I think you'll you'll know most of them. Um, and Ethan definitely. Or, uh, Oh, pardon my language. Beelof will not will not will not know. Um, so you're gonna get the name of an emote. You're gonna describe what it looks like and what it means, and then you're gonna get you, you're gonna get what it actually looks like, and okay. then you're just gonna describe what it means from there. I don't I don't watch Twitch. The only time I watch Twitch is when you put it on and when Kenny Beach used to put it on, and I don't I don't actually engage in Twitch chat, so I should know almost nothing. Okay, which I love to see. I love to hear. Okay, so the first one. Monka S. Monka S. Zach, what does that look like? And what does that mean? It's a little monk guy. It's a little Buddhist monk, uh, but he's got a big head. He's got a big head. Buddhist monk, big head. And he's probably laughing. A laughing little Buddhist monk with a big head. And it means you brought me whole and peace and also laughter. So Monka S is a monk, a Buddhist monk that is laughing. And that and the meaning is brings peace, like it's used to to express Thank peace you. and laughter. Yes, okay, as like a kind of like a peace token. Okay, in I'll, show Twitch chat. I'll show you what it looks like now. Okay, uh, that's just Pepe the Frog. <laughs> now, what do you think it means? Uh, it, 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 you probably when you've accidentally said something horribly racist, and, <laughs> yeah. you're, and you're and you're fretting over the reaction. Monk ass, am I right? <laughs> it is used oh, to Jesus. express anxiety or just sweating in general. So if you say I should have so like your one armpit, it, that was generally sweating. Like if you were to be like, if you were like running away from an enemy in a game, monk ass, that's very scary. Okay. Okay, we clear on that. Now you know monk ass. Okay, okay. Next one's monk a W. What does monk a W uh, mean? It's Pepe the Frog with a wig. Pepe the Frog with a wig. What does it mean? Uh, your fucking woman. Okay, it means that general sweat with a, for a woman. Okay, you ready? Yeah. It is <laughs> okay. just closer, monk ass. Okay. And what does it mean? Now that you see uh, that, it, it means much larger stress and sweat. Use express fear where you're concerned. So yes, essentially. Okay, you're doing great so far, Zach. The 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 Buddhist monk, all that was very good. What does poggers mean? Or what, sorry, what does it mean and look like? Look like and mean. Unit. Okay. That's what it looks like. What does it mean? Okay. Fair enough. So you're, you're right, but it's a frog again. Wasn't the original one like some Asian looking dude? King little bitch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like, he does not like the Asian looking dudes. Yeah, I think he's uh, he used to express enthusiasm. Right? Is that his asshole? Oh, that's his face. Wow, bro. <laughs> uh, used to express enthusiasm, okay? <laughs> Not to be confused with Pog Chan. Oh, that's what I thought. Right. Right. That's what you're thinking of. All right. What is Giga Chad? <laughs> don't know what that could even mean. What does it look like? Okay, I I guess you can go with that. That's what it looks like. What does it mean? Uh, it means I'm a fucky old bitch, honky. You're exactly right. You should describe someone who is alpha male. <coughs> what is ragey? <coughs> the beetle after he sees... Fuck 
up, dude. Pilof after he finds out what the Chinese government's been doing to his iPhone. And what does it look like? What? Looks like a dog licking its butt, dude. Hell yeah, it no, looks like one a... dog licking his own butt, and you cannot tell me it's anything else. It's a cat that is angry. What is that? Dude, what is, now what is that emote? You're wrong. <laughs> what do you think that emote means? It means very angry. Used to, used to when someone is raging. Is this, who is this for? Children. Man, it's Twitch it's chat. For, it's for children. What is K-Kona? What does it look like? One K away from a problem. <laughs> when do you say that? Uh, what is it? What does it look like? Um, uh, One K away from a problem. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, a little, a little Hawaiian coffee bean dude surfing on a surfboard and smoking a joint. Okay, and what does that express? He's he's right again. He's actually <laughs> can't believe he's he's eight for eight. Um, uh, Kakona means um, hanging loose, dude. Kakona, Jamaica. Oh, I want to take it. Take Come on, in Bilof. Come on to his village. Village. Yep, I know the song. Little apple, small apple. That is still his village. <laughs> Kendrick okay. Lamar, he is doing drive-bys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, okay, this is what Cake Kona looks like. Now, what do you think it means? Oh, it's Ben, you can't just put a picture of yourself up there. <laughs> I don't even I think it means. I think it's your. I think it means my face when you just sold someone a shitty used car. You used to describe an American or a redneck. So essentially, you're right. You're almost there. Weird champ. What does weird champ mean, Zach? You're a fucking ugly mug. <laughs> and it means... You know, it man, means you're it, ugly and stupid. It <laughs> means when your eyes are too wide apart. Um, it's him again. <laughs> Mike's favorite. This is Mike's favorite emote, I think. Now what do you think it means? Uh... I actually can't. Um, it it means it means disappointment. Literally, yep, exactly right. Yep. Okay, debated. Um, how many of these are there? Hold on, how many are these? <laughs> there, there a few more. It, it, knowing Twitch, it wouldn't shock me if it was some derivative of jail baited, uh, but I'm going to imagine it probably is safer than that. It just probably just means getting getting juked out of something. I didn't, say, I didn't ask you what it looked like, but that's what it looks like. Does that change your mind? Oh, uh, you sure. Sure what? <laughs> yeah, of course. You're right. Baiting a person. What is my honest reaction? Uh, it looks like, and it means uh, my honest reaction to that information. Mm. I change your mind. Do you want it to change my mind? Up to you. No. It's disinterest. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Drake. Oh, it's uh it's uh the picture of you in that Discord chat that one time. Yeah. <laughs> the it? picture where you look like Drake. Our what does time. Drake mean? Zach, what does Drake mean? <laughs> uh, it means it means it means that you're happy. It means that you're yes, happy. Okay. Was. Copium. What does copium mean? Speed oh round. My I'm fucking God. done with it's this already. Picture. It's a picture of Joe Biden, uh and um it. It 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 means that you are high on opium. Okay, nope. It's you're high on copium. What is that? What is that? What is copium? Now that you see that, uh, it means co-parter. Yes, you should describe the fictional drug that is one consumed after suffering a loss, defeat, or a disappointment. Hyperclap. What is hyperclap? Uh, it, it's the uh, it's he man. That's what the Ben new does new when he has too many stimulants. <laughs> <laughs> It's what uh, it's what uh, Bilo does joke. when he licks his ass too hard. Applause. He's actually he's actually wrong on that one. You'll get no hyper claps for that one. 
Okay, what does hyperclap mean? Applause. Take a guess. It means applause. Yes, 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 yes. yes. How many different ways do you need to show that you approve of something? Uh, show, how to show approval of praise. Often come company with an emote. Easy hyperclap. People bus. Take a guess. Your, your, your nose and your nose only, and it means snot nose booger brain. Is that all on the bad for this? You're just getting on a bus. The fuck are you on about? No, oh, it's snot nose booger brain. Yeah, I'm sticking with snot nose booger brain. I, I don't know. I actually just don't know what that means. People talk. What does that mean? Uh. Snot, uh, or, or um, What's with the snot? sticky, sticky, icky earwax. That's what it looks like, or that's what it means. Yep, both. Uh, no, I mean it's when this when no one's listening. So this oh, entire right. thing, <laughs> basic. Uh, it's Andrew Tate because he's always right. Uh, no, it's a cat, and you're doing business with a handsome fella. Oh, I wait. That sounds much better, actually. Feels thinking, man. It's uh, that guy that used to be on all those history, the history channel shows and discovery channel shows about space, that uh, Asian scientist researcher guy with the white hair. Um, and it, it means that Rick you from Rick and Morty are very, no, no, the coach. Uh, I, I don't want to try to pronounce his last name off of memory. Cause I'm going to butcher it and sound racist, but the, the guy that used to be on the history channel and discovery channel that was, uh, he still does stuff, I think, but he's an older Asian man with white hair. Oh! Um, <laughs> he's that Asian. Yep. Uh, it's a picture of him, and it means the longing and uh, desire of uh, an apple pie. That's crazy. That's it's actually just an al- ben. It's alternative to thinking. Hmm. Uh, Man, it's, you said there were a couple more. <laughs> it's a picture of a pie. It's a picture of uh, it's a picture of a little anime version of you floating to a windowsill where there's a pie steaming on the on the windowsill, and then a, and then someone with a big butterfly net trying to catch you when you uh, are just uh, aimlessly floating to this uh, humble pie, and it means and it means uh, you want McDonald's. How about Hopium? Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Hopium. What is Hopium? Uh, it's it's hopium is the last one. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 when you want your be, uh, uh, best friend's Excel spreadsheet PowerPoint quiz to be over with, and so you just keep making up scenarios about him getting caught in butterfly nets. What does it look like? <laughs> Uh, I just it's just a swastika. It's just yeah, essentially. But you're, <laughs> you're a Twitch streamer now. Good job. <laughs> you just said we're done, dude. And cut. We had Belo fun. We had Belo fun. Guys, we had Belo fun the show tonight. It was a good time. And you all liked it. <laughs> Are you talking to us or yeah, the uh, audience? <laughs> Everyone liked it. I, I don't, <laughs> Everyone in the comments was just going off. Look down below. You'll see everyone. Everyone is just going off on how, yeah, much, they're how all much they love crazy B-Lo, for B-Lo. How they much say, they bring love back me. B-Lo. How Make much the Beelove good... host sing the Beelove song. That's what they're how, all saying. How much? Wait, can we sing the Beelove song together? Is. What? <laughs> can we sing the Beelove song together? Oh yeah, absolutely. One, two, three. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. 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 Go, go the way. If B Love and Dog all got along, got along. they'd probably <laughs> bark me bark down, down by the, the end, end of the song. song. It seems, seems like, like the like little the apple, apple always goes. Seems like goes all of is like every me. time I'm in, in the, the streets, street, I hear bark, 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 bark. bark, bark, bark. That's pretty good, guys. Okay, now I Sean like has to say I the next like few words. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> I feel like we we are we are the the you guys went to school. There were, there were tables 
There were tables <laughs> in the cafeteria. <laughs> where, where are you going with this? Okay. Oh, we actually we actually had a day of school where we didn't have tables. That is <laughs> true. Because you kept biting them. <laughs> no, we had to buy them for a dollar to raise money for kids in Africa. What? You had yeah. to buy your tables yeah. back? No, yeah, we had, to go, we had to go. What if you were poor and about. couldn't get a dollar? Yeah. Yep, that's you, you had to go and you had to go to Africa. Africa. That was what was so funny about it was they were like, yeah, they're, we're building desks for kids in Africa. Uh, so we're going to take away your desks and you can pay a dollar to get a desk. per. It's like per class or for the day, you could pay a dollar um, to get a desk. And you'd be the only one in the room with a desk because no, I didn't pay. You know, I, I didn't either. I was on the floor. Yeah. We just sat on the floor and did regular school said, work. Fuck them were, you kids. Guys in, were you guys in school or jail? <laughs> yeah. Well, most of the people that went to school with. <laughs> I f- no wait. I didn't get to finish what I was saying with the tables uh, and act cut or whatever the fuck. Get out. We, we we just now when we were singing, I it reminded me of the. Do you, have, do you guys have the the kids at the table Are you about that would to ask sing? If we have tables again. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have a, ta- a a table of of kids at high school that would sing? Like no. you just hear them always doing like fucking karaoke. They, they I, also, I went to a high like, school. I went to a high school that was so big that um, we, it was like a campus, and so I never even went into the cafeteria for lunch. I just sat outside and ate the, what I packed. We had a, we had a, we had a, uh, uh, the white kids would sit together, and then there'd be another table of nerdier white kids that would sing like anime openings and shit. Um, now I do that, but that back I then I thought it was say, nerdy. It sounds like you sat there. Uh, yeah, I would have. I would. Ne- Unfortunately, well, he still wasn't cool enough to hang out at that table. Yeah, I, I uh, said, now, now I said, Ben does hang out at that table at the local high school. But when I when I'm driving in my car, sometimes I'll put on the anime opening Spotify playlist. Yeah, I think yeah, that's. I think we're that's good. awesome. <laughs> I, I have digestive problems too. Imagine trying to pitch this show to a network. Well, where do you think we would go wrong? I think bringing Sean with us. I think whoa, that we whoa, are. Whoa. I think I think that we are we are unique in our in our unique New York. Even oh, we're special, all right. Yeah, and I think that when we do a live action episode with two cameras that cost four hundred forty seven dollars and ninety nine cents each, that'll be pretty fire. Yeah. Dude. Do you disagree? Yeah. No, I don't. Hey, hey, Bo, uh, Bolock, what is we? Beloaf. <laughs> you cannot call him that. Yeah, you don't get to call him that. Hey, Beloaf. I just realized what that sounded like. Hey, Beloaf. <laughs> the what? Um, hey. There was like there was a kid. There was a kid named Kyle. Did you but, like have something to say before you talked to Bilo, or did you just think let I was, me say his name? I was and thinking make of a segue. I, I was thinking okay. of a segue. There was you a start- kid. There was a kid in my 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 school. My school named Kyle, and he was a foster child to uh, to to a family friend, um, and uh, he was Chinese. Cool. I was hoping for a bark. That was. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make Belov bark whenever Belov. Belov. Belov is not threatened by a Kyle. <laughs> he was a fucking douchebag too. Have he you would, seen Kyle? He would call me ugly all the time. Have you seen Kyle? Yeah, yeah. He called me ugly all the time, and he slapped me in the face because I said that I was going to date Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Did you? I didn't end up dating. No, he was right the whole time that I wasn't going to get the girl. <laughs> this is, I can't believe it. This is I Hannah, thought, this is Hannah Montana. I can't era believe. Too. Yeah. I, I thought Prime I was going to date Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. You it really like missed out on that. Yeah, it was like 2007. I was like, all I got to do is get the Sasuke haircut, and I'm fucking in. He, and he said he the said, only thing stopping you from banging Hannah Montana was a <laughs> anime haircut. <laughs> I was, mind you, I was not at the table of this guy singing anime openings. I was absolutely not. Yeah, you um, didn't buy the table for a dollar. <laughs> I didn't buy the table for a dollar. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I thought I was gonna bang Hannah Montana with my anime haircut, and he slapped me in the face and told me I was ugly. <laughs> so yeah. 
you ran right. me before or after you ripped out own hair? That's a great question. Uh, I've trichotillomania and I have GERD. What? Are you not born with trichotillomania? I, I was. I was. I've always had it. I have GERD, though. What? You have a what? lot more, too. Yeah, I thought that would be funny. <laughs> yeah. you, made my, you made my game lag. One time, me and b were <laughs> at a bar... And they were playing a mashup of uh, um, uh, Miley Cyrus's party in the USA and Dr. Dre's the next episode. We both thought it was pretty cool. It's true. The whole place went crazy for that one. Yeah. Zach and Abilof walked into a bar and they combined party in the USA with the next episode. <laughs> but, or, uh, walked into a, a bark. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Yo. No. No. Fuck you. Um, you know what? I've realized that Ray I'm really Jay fucking back. stupid. Yeah. Thank Christ. He's self aware. <laughs> I, I, I walk He's... around. I walk around and my main joke is like word or physical association with some sort of video game. So I'll be like, dude, that's like the, the Saints roll car that like blows up at the end of the game. <laughs> And I realize that I sound like a fucking idiot all the time. Like that's the only because right, I'm I, I'm at my computer all the time. That is no offense, Ben. You spent the most effort you've ever spent for a bit for this show on a reference no one else but you understood. I thought that was a pretty like famous reference. I thought I I thought I killed that. Yeah, look at this swag of me from 2001, dude. Yo, he said, "What, what is the what is the guy holding his hands like this?" He's like the the baby your girlfriend told you not to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, dude, hell yeah. Is that, is that the same? Uh, is that the same cat lifting a weight shirt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what's your favorite shirt, Zach? If I, uh, yeah, the, the regurgitated podcast shirt. That if shirt you is not your subs- favorite. That shit is probably subscri- all just you, straight you, black by now. If you subscribe and comment and and dm me like on twitter the picture of you subscribed i'll say i'll buy you one um wait wait we did what we didn't do last time is we didn't put a cap on that in case we get an influx of people taking that offer let's put a cap on the right i reserve the right to shut it down whenever i feel like it's i there we go so (laughs) it's not legally binding i could tell people to fuck off and it doesn't matter there you go um what is my favorite shirt? I don't know. I'm honestly kind of fat now, so a lot of my shirts that I really like don't fit me. So I need to lose weight to fit into my good shirts. But uh, right now, it's like one of the. Sure. I have a shirt from this company called May- Madewell. They make uh, clothing that's like normal but way too expensive. But um, they uh, they they make this. They make everything, but they, my favorite shirt is literally just a plain white shirt by Madewell. It like is a really good material and fits me like super well. It's Madewell. Yeah, I'd say so. Was that? I was waiting for like Beloaf to say that joke because homie well, says homie. I said handicap, and he said that I was handicapped. So I was waiting for him to like. No, I said that, that you were handicapped, and I just let you infer the rest of it. I wonder why I would have inferred such. Have you guys ever my had favorite, coconut water? My favorite shirt is it's a it's a shirt with a gaming controller not chewed on, and it says I can't adult now. I'm gaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to my friend's house tomorrow. I'm playing Sonic Heroes. So it's kind of weird that you're not doing that. You guys ever play Sonic Heroes? You have to pretend to like me. Like that's like part of the. <laughs> I have to talk about shit that's interesting. How about that? Sonic Heroes is interesting. That's no, one of the most in-depth character stood arcs of any dude. Shadow realizes well, that he's it an android. I don't know shit about Sonic Heroes. Okay. Shadow the Hedgehog realizes that he might be an android by the end of it. Yeah, and, and he then, eats a fucking chili dog. No, he goes that damn fourth chaos emerald. He says damn. Sonic curses and Sonic heroes. Shadow the Hedgehog. It's the game afterwards. Yeah, idiot. Sonic is the hero. Shadow is the bad guy. <laughs> he can say "damn." The damn, not here damn. when he dies. I, I know. I know. I know one word that Shadow can say that Sonic can't. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> That's for the audience to know and for you. Beelow's other favorite out. shirt is "All Lives Matter." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're- hey, Beloff, where were you in the January 6th riots? <laughs> Beloff's licking his own butt. Uh, 
Yeah. Is that what's making you laugh? Or is, <laughs> or is that where you were during the January 6th riot? No, Belov has alibi, and that was Belov was licking his own butt, and you will not find any pictures of Belov trying to kill Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> I, uh, you will not see a dog trying to decapitate Mike Pence. Oh, there is so there you is will the not dog? see Belov trying to kill Nancy Pelosi's husband. So, that was later on. That one. That was yeah, so, uh, quite the well. You won't see Belov at either of them, so it doesn't matter. So Marsha, Marsha Marshall, your sweet aunt, she built the guillotine that was used to. There was a theory. lot of people there that day. Yeah, I all mean, of them I know. Belov wasn't there, but uh, he makes friends with Bilov, a lot of people. He knows a lot of people. Yeah, Belov. Belov doesn't know who this uh, woman is, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people making a, what is it? Catapults, you said. <laughs> yeah, catapults. Yeah, yeah. Yep. my aunt built the trebuchet for the January six. <laughs> <riots. Yep. laughs> built a trebuchet. <laughs> it's, it's the, yeah. When, it's disappeared. They launched. It's the, it's uh, back. It's back in the medieval times when they wanted to kill a bunch of people. They'd go, Kobe. Are you familiar with Tiananmen Square? Uh, uh, what? Uh, that never happened. What? Milof, where were you on Tiananmen Square Day? Tiananmen Square is in the middle of Bilof Village. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, uh, that I actually unironically relearned what Tiananmen Square was uh, the other day. Supposedly, my, my grandparents were in China when that went down, and they needed to be escorted oh! out. They needed to be escorted out of the country because the government was like, okay, no foreigners could pop, get, they're like, get the fuck out. They're like, no foreigners could stay in the country while whatever's going down is going down. So they got kicked out of China because Tiananmen Square started happening. Yeah. While they were visiting in the 80s. Yeah. So you're aware of Tiananmen Square? <laughs> no. Wait, what? You know, Chernobyl blew up. Whoa. Yeah. I think I did hear about that. Yeah, That's there's, true. A, there's a docu- there's a show. I hear on Delaware it. will never be the same. Now I hear Delaware will never be the same. Be the same. Be the same. Be the what's, same. Be the same. Be the Del- same. What's in Delaware? Delaware, Florida, Georgia, and Hawaii. Is there a place Delaware. called Chernobyl in Delaware? Yeah, it's um, it's where corn popped. It's where corn popped. Corn popped. Corn popped. Corn popped. Corn like the artist? No, like, yeah. Where they got their start? Joe Biden's swimming pal. I've tried to like I'm, I'm trying to riff so with you right now. The rabbit hole. I've tried to riff uh, with you, you so guys, hard. I, I, you I guys can't. are doing you guys are doing so good. This is me and Ben know how you to guys have, that's one thing. You guys have such good chemistry. So so corn like the artist. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I'm canceling this show. <laughs> I can't I can't <sighs> tell if this is bit or if you just really are that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Would you would you would you rather would you rather put a toothpick under your toenail and kick a wall? Or are you on your or, phone to get to, did I just see you on your phone to get would you rather <laughs> <laughs> no. Or continue what? watching the podcast. Well, it looked like you were on your phone. <laughs> my phone's not even in this room. I, I don't even have my phone in this room. I so swear. if I call you right now, you're not going to answer? I'm not going to call him. Oh, wait, he can hear me. Can someone see him in square? This is now a workout podcast. I thought you were getting your phone. I was until you said you weren't going to call me. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> we're going to hey. get I don't have a lot of room here. What are you getting prepared for? You're not funny, so I'm doing workouts. Well, I wait, but I made the video that five Discord podcast hosts have sworn. Damn, he's got a dunk. Am I right? Yeah, that is kind of a fat. <sighs> ass. All right, all right, all right. I'm not. I'm not giving you. <laughs> Do some of these. Wait, how you got a fat ass and noodle arms, bro? Get the fuck out of here. I got that dude Donald that looks Trump like build. he's gonna be licking his own butt. <laughs> <laughs> he, can't, he can't reach that shit. That shit's enormous. I'm built like President 45. 
Oh, a little tummy. I saw your little tummy, dude. All right, no more workout podcast. Tummy really- time, tummy time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's. How do you how do you sit all that ass in a chair? <laughs> There's going to be another train derailment in Ohio. <laughs> like the uh, artist? Caboose malfunction. Damn. Dead on. This time he's right. The band train fucking died in Ohio. <laughs> the artist train died when corn yeah. popped in Chernobyl, Delaware. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know that train is just one guy? <laughs> did you know that corn popped one guy? <laughs> did you guys ever do like those Mad Libs when you were kids, or were those? Uh... Dude, Gee, next, they next, didn't get to us. Next content. <laughs> next content is Mad Libs. I can pull up Mad Libs right now. You want to do some Mad Libs? Brent, yeah, yeah, yeah Mad that, Mad that, <laughs> that's a good. <laughs> Give me an adjective. Do you guys remember the time Joe Rogan said this show wasn't funny enough and just started doing <laughs> Mad Libs with Neil deGrasse Tyson? No. No, it's crazy because that definitely happened. The corn? <laughs> yeah, the artist, actually. Yeah. Bro, I can't find any Mad Libs for free. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The like they want me to get an app. I don't want to get the app. Fuck Joe Biden's America. I can't find Brandon's, Mad Libs for free. Brandon's America. I got to pay for my Mad Libs. <laughs> vacuum. It's just vacuum plural down. That is it. Is the is the plural of vacuum not vacuums? Look at all the vacuum. Okay, well, are we going in the to vacuum or, store? What are we doing? It's only ten fifteen, dude. I want to do some Mad Libs. <laughs> Wait, Wait. Not, mother! It is not time to sleep yet. Wait. I need to do my good night Mad Lib. I found something. I found something you might Mad like. Libs, but Mad Libs to fall asleep too. I'm looking for a rural noun. Wait, I found we could just do really Wordle cool. on the show. I found something really cool, but it's not loading. <laughs> He's like my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hold up, we got pop ups. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, it's not no Who's I in my I'm area. In... <laughs> wait, <gasps> look, wait, I, I don't I... look. <laughs> what <laughs> I found it's family guy mad libs. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, okay well, let's look at look, they got. Is that Lil Mac? That's John Cena. They had John Cena Mad Libs. I don't know. I think I'm dude, down you're with definitely getting Mad. you're definitely getting viruses right dude, now. When, <laughs> dude, when, 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 when imagine Donald, imagine getting a virus not from porn, but because you wanted to play dude, too many Mad Libs. When, when Donald Trump some Trump. These are Mad Libs you can only get on the dark web. When Donald Trump wins the election in 2024. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. Mad libs. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, uh, hey, you can go to Liberal Burger with that. Yeah, that's right, dude. Get a woke coffee. <laughs> yeah, use code regurgitated at at Liberal Burger. Would it be too racy if I said, yeah, if you can go to Liberal Burger, get some That's a pretty funny joke. Would that is that that's too racy though? I assume. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could order some uh, d- diversity. Ooh. Um, or some green energy tea. That one, that one was uh, was uh, was a journey to get through. Or maybe a, an electric <laughs> Irish car bomb. At the bar. How about like a fossil fuel? Some woke fries, coexist style. Mm. Coexist. <laughs> what's uh? What's on Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Hillary, oh, Hillary. Did you just did you just ask what's a Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Hillary Clinton salad. <laughs> Hillary Clinton uh, <laughs> diet Pepsi or whatever. Yeah, Hillary Clinton diet Pepsi. It's actually just two bullets in the back of your head. That's <laughs> she doesn't drink water. Do you guys remember when she was at the Cedar Rapids? No, but I remember when she was at Epstein's Island. 
That, that doesn't a, even make sense. She was there. Yeah, but there are only girls there. Is she a woman? If you order a Joe Biden burger at a liberal burger, they won't give it to you. And when you go up and ask, they'll just forget that you even ordered. <laughs> you paid. But you paid. <laughs> this is taking your money. I got a question. Yeah, if you order the corn pop there, they give you a band for some reason. <laughs> you know the band corn. You did a song with Skrillex. Yeah. And if you eat at if you eat at conservative burger, they give you just good meat. I bet they give you good meat. <laughs> it's only yeah. white meat. Dude, you ever, you guys ever want to eat some good game? Alright, yeah. All right, That's what happened when you bit your controller. <laughs> This is this is what happens. Ben is Ben is up too late, and he hasn't played enough Mad Libs, and he is he's no. getting a little goofy. Oh, dude, when Trump wins in twenty twenty four, I don't know why that's such a weird thing. <laughs> what? So, why are you talking like that? <laughs> what do you mean? You're the one with the I, dumb accent. You fucking idiot. I'm what talking are you about how are you going to say <laughs> how a dog is supposed to talk? How are you going to tell dog a dog has weird voice? Yo, there's a taxi going by. Taxi. There's a bus. All right. I gotta get you some mad, mad libs, dude. Give me some mad libs. Um, what was that? What did I ask? I don't fucking know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the band? Uh, Corn did a song with Skrillex. Uh, but, awesome. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. I don't understand what you guys don't get. That's great. I don't understand what My you guys two don't favorites. get. Favorites. <laughs> Corn did a song and it was like uh Adam listens to it all the time and he works out and I hear it all the time. But I don't Who's remember how it Adam? goes. Adam. Adam's my little brother. He's a little retard. Retarded. <laughs> how did you pass school? I did oh. I barely did. I got I got, I, I, I realized like a month before I was about to not pass that uh, my my it was an art class that I did not was did not doing anything in it and I needed to get a C to pass and I got a C. Mm-hmm. I got an F the first story. semester. C. Yeah, if you could imagine, uh, Ben, he, he he did get out. He did get out of school. I got out of school. Did, uh, I spent four and a half a years. Senior. I spent four and a half years on a uh, two year degree, uh, and now I work from home. Making more money than me. Do a Discord podcast. Making more money than all of you combined. Actually, I don't know if that's true anymore. Definitely should. It definitely isn't. Let me give more money than... Combined, no, but... There's no way. There's no way you're making more more than 300k a year. B-Loaf is definitely making more than you. How much do you make, B-Loaf? is constantly finding treasure. (laughs) You're finding treasure? He also has an OnlyFans. Yeah, B Loaf has an OnlyFans where he licks own butt, and B Loaf also goes on adventures to find rubies and such. Well, I feel like isn't the thing about OnlyFans that at a, at a point it stops becoming it, it, it? You actually stray away from like the the oversexualization of yourself, where you you do it as like a, on a video only. So you are you've been licking your own ass constantly. I feel like you're not at, at a mature level of OnlyFans. What the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> I, I, I genuinely know. can't I track think he, what he's even I trying to I think he to wanted now. to make a point. I was following you at first. I thought you were going to say something about how like OnlyFans is more about like personal connections or something. And, but then you just started. You just kept talking, and I just lost. Okay, it's your point. fifty dollars, and you can message Amaranth. you love privately. Amaranth, Queen Amaranth. <laughs> She's very sexual for OnlyFans. But when she's on another person's stream, she might have her clothes off, but she's not acting sexually. I legitimately thought sexually. you were talking about anime again. I have no fucking no. clue who Amaranth nope. is. Queen? <laughs> you have a girlfriend. <laughs> she's dead. Act normal, you boingus. <laughs> Wait, it, I think Amaranth is like the... I might be wrong about this. She, I think she's like the number one most subscribed OnlyFans person. I would have no fucking clue. That's crazy. Um... <laughs> Amaranth, it's act sexual, act sexual on Man, on her videos, B-Lof. right? You better. Beelove is definitely number maybe one. number one dog, for sure. I'm I, I'm just saying that it's a little weird you that you're, you're licking your no ass way. for free here. There's no way that you're going to. I'm not on camera, you little fucking freak. Beelove, 
Bealoff easily makes more money uh, showing sending out paw pics to horny guys on the internet than finding treasures at the bottom of the ocean. Dude, I went to Bealoff Burger and I ordered a I ordered a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, he went to Bealoff Burger and got a crazy style, <laughs> <laughs> which just means the waiter got to <laughs> lick my ass. <laughs> I Beelof Burger is the place. Beelof Burger, yeah, yeah. Beelof Burger, yeah, Beelof, Beelof, and Mr. Beast opened the burger place at the same time, and Beelof is crushing it. Is it a ghost? <laughs> is it a ghost kitchen? Yeah, it's it's an entirely haunted kitchen, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it will eat your ass remotely. Yeah, yeah. you ever got your ass eaten by a ghost before? Can you Actually, it's in? funny. The Uber Eats driver gets to has to eat your ass for you to fulfill the order. Really? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> crazy. Can you walk into the ghost kitchen? No. Bigo, Bigo, Bigo Can you walk into walk? any kitchen? Uh, at yeah, any I don't. I don't understand the question. Just because it's a ghost, do you think I didn't mean you to can say kitchen? I meant to kitchen? say restaurant. I meant to say restaurant. No, no it's, it's a, a restaurant. Ghost what are you talking about? I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not, you're not engaged, I Sean? Think, I think I want to go to Beelow Burger is what I want to do. <laughs> I think we're all craving Beelow Burger. <laughs> I, think, I, kinda, I don't know about you, but I'm sort of feeling Beelow Burger right about now. I'd be down for some McDonald's. You guys want to get McDonald's after this? Yeah, how about a... Uh... He didn't finish what he said. was what I wanted to say. I know it's probably a connection thing. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll be back. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, make a quick pit stop at Bilo Burger. You had that issue earlier. He's probably busy getting <laughs> the famous Bilo Zing sauce. What's the Zing sauce? It's just mustard? the Zing. Well, you can't give away the secret. Yeah, it's just mustard. <laughs> yes. Do you remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you guys watch Camp Laszlo? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I watched a few episodes. Yes, there was an episode where they were trying to make the best hot dog, and and, and one of the characters <laughs> said one of one of the characters like the best part of the hot dog is the mustard because it gives it the zing, and that's that was why I said that. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we got there. Yeah, <laughs> I was, know. I don't imagine tuning into a riveting episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, and Joe Rogan's like, "Have you ever watched Camp Laszlo?" Dead Jamie, can you pull up season two, episode four of Camp Laszlo? <laughs> hey, Hey, Jamie, can you should pull up Beloaf Burger? I think I think, me, <laughs> Jamie. I think you you I and Dr. Jordan Peterson could go for some Beloaf Burger right now. I was thinking of not showing up today and just having like a picture with like Jet Chat GPT just re- responding to all your questions. I would have quit. That would have made my life so much easier if I just like threw on like a fake camera and just let Chat GPT do its thing. Yeah, because your life probably is so hard doing a podcast every two weeks. <laughs> it was three weeks this time. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you what's, your, what's your best? What's your? Can you do a Peter Griffin impression with that accent and that bark? No. no. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, you just asked me, can I do Peter about? Griffin? Can I do a Peter Griffin impression? Don't change your voice. Do it in that <laughs> accent and don't so bark. Like, what? Uh, <laughs> Bill, if you're a dog, right? Yes. Is it true that that um a lot of white women like to fuck dogs? What? <laughs> that like mostly white women fuck dogs. I like, don't there's a lot of white women out there. Like you're saying that dogs. there's a lot of women having sex with dogs. They're fucking white women. The dog, like white women. Why white women? women? Why women? White women. There's a lot of white women that want to uh, get <laughs> get fucked by a dog. I think you're both. I think you're both on your uh, running out of your creative juices here. Impossible. No, I think that is a very valid. Do you think that a lot of white? Why do women fuck dogs? <laughs> no, white women. <laughs> the band. The band. White women. <laughs> the band. Why do women? <laughs> 
<laughs> the event Y2K. I haven't even gotten started. <laughs> oh, oh, good. <laughs> Zach, your mic on. <laughs> oh, that got me lightheaded. I have vertigo. I heard that. It, it actually didn't unplug though. What? I looked at it. The light was still on. You're lying. No, dude, you are so. There is a significant lag between your mouth and what you're saying. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, it's like if I went like this. Ah. Wait, wait, is it still a lag? No, you're good. What, what, how did you fix it? Shut the fuck up. Wait, it's actually lagging. That's the first time that Zach hasn't been here for an episode. Actually, no, he, you, you did leave one time on the first episode. I also moved my car last episode. No, yeah, but you didn't leave the call. No. Hey, wasn't it crazy that last episode we had um, we had a uh, Chumby Wumby, Sean, you, me, and Tristan all at the same time? When do you think we're going to get crazy. five people again? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who the people are you're talking about. Well, you watch every episode, don't you? Yeah, Bill have been a little behind. Um, I hear you. Where's Tristan t- right now? That's my question. Probably slaying it. Everybody had, like, when, I don't know what it was, when episode 18 went up, all of my friends said that Tristan was a sweetheart. Tristan's a cool person, dude. I, I like really Tristan. like Tristan a lot. I like Tristan a lot. Let yeah. me get fired. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't, don't wish that upon. We just, we barely met this guy. Yeah, but. Um, it was nice of him to join again, though. Hopefully we talk to him more. It's cool that you reach out to someone over the internet and then they talk to you multiple times. So I, I've been thinking about that lately. Like, it's similar to Beloaf. Like, how I went to a, through a phase where I was very depressed. And the podcast I, end. I, 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 I met a lot of online friends at that time. It's purely online friends. I had a friend from New Zealand. I had friends from California, Florida, way out of like super far away. And uh, I realized that that was like the most degenerate shit I've ever done. They were all great people. And I, I would, I still like them all very much. And I talked to them. I was going to say that I never something. talked to them ever again. Yeah. Um, but that was like the most degenerate shit that I've ever done. And I was, I was thinking like, is that like the slip, a slippery slope with having friends that are like purely online? Like if you have too many of those, are you just the discord mod at that point? A little bit. I feel like you have to have a good balance. I have a lot of friends that are online and then a lot of friends that uh, are semi online. Like I mostly talk to them online, but sometimes I'll see them, but then you got to have friends in real life. If you don't get out, you're a fucking loser. Zach, are we friends in real life? I mean, technically we've been in the same room together. Uh, does that count? Mm. So like I, 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 I think so. I've been in the same room with uh lots of people at concerts. At what point is our friendship real? I think you're lagging again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was real the second you 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 did the this motion. <laughs> yeah, then that that was that's it. I locked it in. I uh I cuz I hang out with my like real world, I see them on a fairly regular basis or have seen them. You know, I went to high school with them or whatever. I, th- I hang out with them the majority of the time. Right. Like that. Those are like my, those are like, like my, my, my main friends. Right. But at what point, like I, I've met all, but like a f- very few of them in real life. Um, at what point, like you have to hang out with the person in real life for that not to be, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to ask. You can be like, friends with people over the internet, Ben. Yeah, but I feel like there's a difference between like an online friend and a real life friend. Like, would sure, you and it's I be the next on, step. Would, if I we hung out, if we hung out, I'm saying if we, me and you hang hung out, whenever, at that point, would we uh, no longer be online friends and we'd be uh, kissing? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> real life friends. Yeah. 
<laughs> but that's a good point. You could be dating someone and not have sex, and you can be dating someone and then start having sex with that person. But in both scenarios, you're still dating someone. It's a similar thing, right? Where meeting someone in person is pretty much like having sex. I see where you're going. <laughs> and let me let me let me let me do you I'm one just better. Saying, I'm just saying, like you could be friends with someone over the internet and friends with someone in real life, and that's just a step in your friendship. You're friends either way; it doesn't matter. I feel like it means more. I think it's more special if you're friends. It's in just a step. Yeah, it's a step. Like I feel like yeah, if I feel like if we hung out, that would be a step in the right, uh, a step in the right direction, a step in the friendship direction, right? Because we've only hung out online. I think I think if we hung out in real life, we'd actually just take a not a step in the friendship direction. I actually think you're wrong. We'd, we'd end it. We'd, we'd be like, oh, yuck. And we'd end it. Gross. I wonder how how annoying you'd be in real life. Probably pretty annoying. Like if we went to New York, like would you be the problem? It really depends. I my mood changes a lot depending on what group I'm in. I'm with certain groups of people. I'm a lot more animated and a lot more. And then yeah. with certain other groups of people in real life, I am way less interesting than I am like on this show by far, which is saying something. There are some groups of people that I hang around where I just do not talk. I do not want to talk mm. about myself. I'm just very reserved. And there's some groups of people where I go, Whoa! I'm sick still. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, could, I, could, I could taste the phlegm. <laughs> Oof. Interesting. Taste my flow. I feel like I'd be the more annoying one between the two of us, to be honest. Why? Um, I don't mind making an idiot of myself, and sometimes people around me get fucked over me, by proxy. Me too. Hey, we have a licensed uh, therapy dog in the call. Do you think we're yeah, good Bilo, friends? Bilo, Bilo doesn't need to hear any of your fucking problems. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think I we're that on a t-shirt? Bilo do th- does not need to hear any of your fucking problems. Can you wait? Can we actually <laughs> a picture of a dog with a ski mask? Let's ask Bilo his unfiltered opinion. Do you think that Zach and I are going to be f- best friends forever? Uh, are you guys best friends now? Nope. Oh no. I, I <laughs> voice of reason. <laughs> uh, I, I but I do you think that Zach, uh, do you think that Zach and I are are friends? Um, <laughs> I mean, Bill. Uh, I I don't know. It feels like. It- the two people in here, they just kind of are mean to you the whole time, and also so am I. That didn't whatever I was trying to I, I, mean, I mean, Bilo, uh, the Bilo finds it hard to believe that uh, any anybody of you would be friends, my but <laughs> How old is Bilo? I mean, How old is Bilo? 40. Dog years? Oh, so you were oh. alive for 9-11. Yeah, Beelov was around. Wait, what was if your reaction? If you're what, 40, what did you see? What did you, what did B-Lof, you think when you first B-Lof saw Beelov was news? supposed to be on that flight. Beelov, oh, Beelov. emergency support dog for Michael Jackson. But Beelov was Beelov. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but Beelov couldn't, couldn't make the flight. No, I was going to be the field. <laughs> did everybody? Did everybody <laughs> die in the Pentagon? Plane. Yeah, the no one, no one survived. I think every, the I think every plane, I, I, think, I think every plane had them die. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone crawl got out of those planes alive. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, I feel I confident in saying no one got out of the plane. <laughs> no one that got on the planes that caused nine eleven lived. It's the three thousand number that people throw around when they're talking about nine eleven. Does that include the See, people in the Pennsylvania dot. on the ground? Yeah. I don't think. Uh, are you talking about the plain people that died? Because if it hit a field, I doubt it killed anybody. That's what I'm talking about. Kill the people in the planes. You oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was asking. Oh. I yeah. thought he was saying that there was a field full of people that a plane <laughs> crashed into. And I was like, no, I don't think that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you ever have dreams of planes crashing in, in your dreams? <laughs> 
Yeah, sometimes Beloff is <laughs> Beloff is sleeping, and you can see him. And they go, "Oh, look at him! He's dreaming of a plane crashing." <laughs> is that Some, sometimes Beloff still hears the voices? <laughs> you, ever, you ever you ever see that? You ever see that that video of that dog who's running in its sleep and then it runs into a wall? Yeah, that's pretty simple. That is the 911 for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> How does 911 come up so often? <laughs> hey, this is a big event. Uh, oh what you guys get? What you guys get for Christmas? <laughs> It can't so, so, be your God, I'm just thinking of all the different historical events, but from like a dog's perspective, like were you excited that we were invading Afghanistan or no? Like after 9-11? Or were you like early, like against the war in Afghanistan? As a dog, like speaking for the dog community, like how did the dog community react to 9-11? Oh, you're asking oh, the me. War in <laughs> Afghanistan. I thought I thought that was a question for Ben, and then you said dog. So, With all things from a dog perspective, did you support the invasion oh. of Afghanistan or OJ Simpson? It must have been really fun to watch that car, to watch a chase like that as a dog. Yeah, that was that was exciting <laughs> because that is what I wish I could have done. It, the camera didn't zoom out enough, but if you look, it's, you know, uh, like 12 police cars in one below just running down the L.A. highway. Yeah, yeah. If you zoomed out a little bit more, there'd just be a dog. Right Wherever there. it was. Was he in L.A.? I don't fucking know. I think it was uh, definitely in California somewhere. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. The... Tiananmen Square. I don't think he was alive for that. He's 40 in dog years. That means he's like. 200 or something. That's I mean, he's literally I seen it. I, I just said 40. I did not specify. Yeah, but 40 also times, 40, 40 times 40 7 is 280. So 280 years ago, the Tiananmen Square. 40, you're doing the math wrong. If you say 40 in dog years, that means I'm much younger. You're doing that completely incorrect. No, no, no. 40 times 7. 40. No, if it's in dog <laughs> years, it's already been acted up. <laughs> Do not try to educate a dog on how this no, works. No, but 287, seven, 280 dog dog years would be so many more. Yeah, cor- yeah no, correct. Yeah. <laughs> how long do you want to keep this square? going? How long do you want to keep this show I going? Just wanna, I just want to see how long it can go. It's too long. I think, um, uh... Zach, I, I, I didn't even finish what I was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, I have plans next week. Oh, that's yeah, fucking impossible. I know. I'm playing Sonic Heroes tomorrow. <laughs> I just this is the first beloved has heard of this. <laughs> is that next week? Tomorrow? <laughs> no, it's no, it's tomorrow. Okay. Hey, what's going on next week? So I'm going uh uh actually He's really playing it again next week. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> like he has a few dates crossed out on the calendar. We're gonna to- top that off with some mad libs. I'm gonna take videos for you, Zach. Not a oh, Sonic Heroes. Not a Sonic <laughs> Heroes. <laughs> um I don't want to get all you. Uh so uh next week starting so I take Friday off. And then I took Monday and Tuesday off the week after that. I'm going to New Jersey to a a a a a a a fuck. You're what are going they called? to a a in New Jersey. <laughs> what are they called? A, uh, a resort. He's going. He's going to an anime anonymous uh, <laughs> meeting. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to. For, uh, for, uh, Hello, my Hello. name is Ben Son. <laughs> Hello, my name is uh, Ben Paget, and uh, I am I am a fucking. People pervert. call me that a lot in high school for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Hello, um, my name is Ben Paget, and I am a fucking pervert. <laughs> is that yeah, what you're yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got the, I got a lot of that in high school. Like unironically, like that, that was like a thing people called me, and they would switch my the P in my name with an F. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> they pronounce it. I think they thought there was an, an H after the P or something. <laughs> oh yeah, it could yeah, it could be that. Uh, um, it probably was that. I'm going to resort. I'm going to. Re- uh, I'm going to the resort actually on New Jersey. Uh, yep, on New Jersey resort. It's the first one to come up when you look up North- Northwest Resort, which is great. Um, and kind of kids, result please. of you. It's the first result if you type in the name of the resort. Yeah, if you type in if you type in X <laughs> resort, it'll come up. <laughs> um, really, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, um, so, if you combine the IQ points of this podcast, it equals a whole number. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. That's crazy. Um, on on. Uh, Saturday. Uh, okay. Okay. On Saturday, I'm gonna be at the resort. Holy I'm getting shit. I'm getting a spa treatment. I'm going to nice restaurants. And take videos of this? And take videos of this for you. Of course, for the podcast. Wait, for, for the show or for me personally. Through. Either. <laughs> That's that one's just for you, buddy. Um are we doing you a bunch see of shit? me with the cucumbers on my eyes, bud? Ooh, I, I forgot that was Man, a thing. Where else would you like these cucumbers? I had to imagine you go to a resort and the whole time you're just waiting for a lady to put cucumbers on your eyes and you're just <laughs> pissed off that it never happens. I, I hope Is that anyone going to put uh, cucumbers on my eyes. We got I've been this, waiting. If I don't get cucumbers on my eyes during the spa treatment, I'm actually going to have a problem. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this room service? Uh, it's almost time for checkout. And no one's put cucumbers on my eyes. And then they come with the little like pickles instead because they have the only kind of cucumber Red and they have. Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hey, yeah, they, we're, they literally we're go to the fast food restaurant in the resort and take it off an existing <laughs> burger and put it on your eyes. Well, we're staying at we're staying at the the resort for just two nights, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna look around New Jersey a little I bit. Hear if you look up show. the name of this resort, it's the first one. <laughs> it's the first one that comes up. If you look up the name, it's the first one that comes up. Uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? You want to start a podcast? Yeah, you don't want to start a podcast? That's crazy. Yeah. You know, I, sometimes I slap my feet, but they're not ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ethan, it's uh, 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 Bilo. It's my half birthday today. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why? Why? <laughs> That's so crazy. Why would I'd be, you, tickled. Why I'd be you? tickled if you did that to me. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes i like to slap bottoms of feet but but it's not ticklish i know you're probably thinking it's damn i'd not ticklish oh my god <laughs> that's like a superhuman that's like a superhuman power <laughs> the cia is gonna snatch this How are guy you? How do you have such control? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I- <laughs> What the fuck was that? I was choking. How do I spit? Woo! Yikes! That's tough. Did you know if you look up the name of that resort? The first one that comes up. Whoa! I can't believe I'm gonna get videos of this. Yeah, you should feel. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get a video of Ben getting a massage, and he just talks to his masseuse, saying, "You know, if you he's slap just, the bottom of my getting, feet, he's getting his foot massage. He's going. Ah, ah, I can't believe it. this is the first time this has happened. I swear." <laughs> He says, go ahead, try to rub them. I won't laugh. (laughs) 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 
your mom going with you too? This resort? <laughs> no. <laughs> he sounds like he sounds like uh, Rick from uh, fucking Rick and Morty from canceled show Rick and Morty. Um, I'm going to the resort. <laughs> um, and I, <laughs> funny, funny, but I have GERD. Um, I'm going to the resort. Holy shit. <laughs> please, please say more than that sentence. <laughs> it's my anniversary. <laughs> how that, how that weekend. I'm getting video. You're getting video of, the, of my anniversary resort weekend. He says he's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pool there, <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you going to find it? Surely you can't just type in the name. It'll be easier on you. What? Okay, please don't. Please don't push me too hard. I have GERD. <laughs> I'm gonna puke, dude. <laughs> um, you should. You should definitely finish the podcast by puking on camera. Namesake, <laughs> 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 dude. <laughs> That's true. Uh, has, I don't think anyone actually has yet. Uh, no, didn't you like? Yeah, I think you remember if uh, if somebody had puked. Oh on no, the, it was I the mean, first death. It was a death. It wasn't a puke. <laughs> The bird hit your window. Yeah, I remember. I have a headache from laughing. It's a good thing you're not ticklish. <laughs> not, on the, not if you <laughs> slap. God. Thank <laughs> God you can slap your feet and you right. don't no get tickly. tickled. No yeah. tickling. Clears your um, mind right up. So there's a pool at the resort. To anyone trying to listen. <laughs> to any of us. <laughs> I get but you're not autistic. <laughs> I, I, dude, I, I feel like I have to burp, but it's not coming out. I'm just I have to, just have to scream it out. <laughs> um, ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's wrap this up. Wait, I'm not done with my. I have. A, I'm going to the resort. And there's a pool there. When are you going? And there's a spa. It's uh, the 18th and 19th of the nights I'm staying there. I'm okay, releasing this sure. after that. Re- me realizing that. Oh, yeah, I just, you don't want your fans. Because it's, to if, be you name, up it's fr- if you look up the name, if you if you look up the name, it's the long? first. <laughs> if you look up the name, it's the first one that shows up. So I obviously That's I can't. That's crazy. <laughs> I surely I would think it'd be second or third, but the um, top result. I also there were, we're also getting f- uh, food while we're there. <laughs> Even with your what bird? food are you having? <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 there's a menu. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um I want Sean to see the end of this show ends without him. Yeah. So it's kind of gone, okay. it's just consistently gotten worse. Like <laughs> tire ups. Uh, um <laughs> so that's good. That's my weekend. <laughs> that's my next weekend. Round of applause. Uh, this whole thing will just be a massive clip on reflux, dude. Uh, I'm not. I'm not done yet. You guys want to go for a little longer? You are currently telling us you want to throw. You're up. currently crying on camera, <laughs> dude. I'm just so happy that I'm gonna. 
It's been uh, the weekend on my anniversary with my beautiful girlfriend of five years. You think it'll be relaxing? It's a resort. I hope they don't. I don't know. It feels like it, if you, even if you were at the resort <laughs> at any moment, you could shit your pants and kind of just ruin the whole thing. Depends what I drink. Okay. <laughs> they could have coconut water on standby. Yeah. Maybe that is relaxing though. If you just you're in a you're in you just get an endless cycle of just shitting and drinking coconut water and cucumbers on the eyes and shitting. <laughs> and true. then you, you get a drink. menu. <laughs> yeah, I hope that restaurant has it. There's a <laughs> there's a non-zero chance. I was thinking about this earlier today. There's a non-zero chance with the amount of time that we're doing the podcast. Over time, there's there's a non-zero chance that I'm gonna have some sort of digestive issue and, and shit my pants. You think? Yeah. I'm I almost have the coconut water for that. Day. Oh, I actually I have um. So I, I started my new job. I got sick. I had to use PTO already in the first week to get well, you off. Took when time I was like, off. I, I actually there was I was very thankful they even let me do that. Um, I get to work. They were like, "Yeah, you gotta go home." And so I go home, and I'm starting to think like, you know what? Maybe I'm getting. I'm gonna drive home. I'm like, you know, I'm getting a little bit better. Maybe you know, maybe maybe everything's right. Maybe everything's gonna be alright. Maybe I'm gonna get better. I get home, and I'm like, I'm gonna take a shower. I just got home. I start taking a shower zero warning just diarrhea just it it was the luckiest place to have it because could you imagine if i was like no 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 no, i could stay here at work i want to take and a bath the, and in and in the first week the first week of my new job i just ass blast all over their Wait, carpet shit in the shower you you were like yeah waiting. well diarrhea it, I, it was zero warning there was no warning there was no like oh i think something's coming i better it was just whoa I was that mm. sick. You have an issue with going in the bathroom and not hitting the toilet. I, I, I though have a have an issue with not even leaving my seat. <laughs> um, no one's laughing. You're just sad. That's why I'm crying. Um, but I'm happy to hear that you're feeling better, Zach. <laughs> yeah, actually, today's the first day I really feel like I'm all there. Good. I have a headache. I bet, bud. I was laughing really hard. I got lightheaded, and then I immediately got a headache. I don't get headaches because my head is too big for that. My brain. imagine being a stand-up comedian, and then you say a joke so funny you get a headache. That's like a big compliment. I said the joke; it was funny. Man, this show is something else. I'll I'm an empath. <laughs> Wait. Uh, you want to make a TikTok? Give me a premise. Give me something to go off of. Um, fake giveaway. There, there's this guy on TikTok called Homeless Prophet, and he makes these like super hyper Donald Trump, Joe Biden mashup videos, and they always end with a giveaway where if you leave like a like or comment, you get uh, what is it? A can of jet oil and prototype money. Like monopoly money? No, well, the whole thing is like they're like their videos as Donald Trump or Joe Biden, and at the end of them, they're like, "If you leave a comment, we'll give you prototype money, like from the government." Oh, like the Rosa Parks twenty. <clears throat> That's not a thing yet, is it? I actually don't know. Did they stop that? They just cut it out. I, I thought that uh, Daylight Savings Time was ending uh, this weekend, but it's actually not, potentially not ending until November. I got to figure that out in two days. Yeah, I got two days to figure that out. But in this episode airs, we'll figure it out. Maybe. Are you sure you don't want to end the show now? Yeah, no, I'm down. Do you have anything else you want to say? Anything pressing? No, I was hoping that I was going to make you guys la laugh again because I just love hearing your, your little squeaks, but I don't got, I got nothing. Be low, like, I'm going to have new dog. headphones. Yeah, I, was, uh, I, was, I, I was too lazy to go <clears throat> toy, but I thought about it. I'm, I have new headphones next podcast. That'll be crazy. Hey, are you getting that new monitor you were talking about at any point? I don't know. They're like $700. 
for the ones it's that a lot weren't. of money. Yeah. Yeah. Because if we get the 4K cameras, I think the dynamic range and the lighting will be better. But like, we really want to get the crisp. Yeah. You really want to take advantage. We really want the zooms and everything. The, the shorts, we want the shorts to look yeah. good. Yeah. I'll have to, because I, the thing is, I want to, <clears throat> if I'm going to do that, I'm going to want to get a monitor that mirror is, is similar. I want, I want 4K, 144 hertz, and that's a lot of money for the same size. That's a lot of money. Actually, what's funny, that's what this thing is, but I use it for my Xbox. If I switch it over to my PC, it would be better. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking to get. Like a 27 inch version of that. So That's honestly, probably what that is. It's like a 27 inch 4K, uh, 144 hertz I monitor. Just, I just have to like put forth that money, which would be nice. Yeah. But I don't know. All right, Mister, I'm richer than this whole party combined. How much money does Beloff make? Uh, treasure and the jewels and. Let me playing Sea of Thieves. That's all he's doing. All right. No, Beloff is discovering <laughs> new civilizations and getting all the riches. One Piece. So let's end the shit. Zach, kill it. Do the thing. Hey, everyone. Uh, if you call like this action, video... Call the action, call the action, call the action right now, right now, right now. <laughs> And if you like this video, you can go down to the description and find the other channel and you can subscribe to this one. Uh, no one's really watched this full thing through. I could say slurs and no one would know until like probably like two years from now. Maybe someone would go back and watch it. Um, hey, if you're my employer, um, this is not me. Uh, if uh, you're on TikTok, well, I, I mean, you're cool, um, cooler than me. If you're on, YouTube, if you're uh, watching any of this, I love you. Uh, um, uh, you know, you know, you know what's crazy, man. You know what's crazy, man. You know it's crazy. Um, uh, if anyone stuck through this shit, um, call me. You can say hi to Mike specifically if that's oh. what you want to do. Hi, Mike. I talked Hi, to Mike. him on your stream, right? Yeah. Hi, Mike. So cool. Mike, he's he's like he watches. I think all of each of them. So really, yeah. Hi, Mike. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Tell me something about Mike that I can pretend like I know, so he'll be impressed. Oh, that I know. Um, he has a he has a bird named Kudo. Uh, hi, Mike. Tell Kudo I said adios, nuevo. I mean, that means goodbye night. I thought it means good goodbye new. I think it's literally You're nonsensical. Right. Nuevo means new. Yeah, what is night? Buenos noches. Buenos noches. Is that where you're ending it? Just with the buenos noches? Guten Abend. Yeah, can you say it in any other languages? Maybe we can be a little inclusive. Already more inclusive than most podcasts. We all wait. Uh, dog, Ciao, actually. Tschüss. Ni hao. <laughs> mushy mushy. You don't know what that Dakota. means. You don't know what that means. That's what that no. means. Yes. And, or hello yeah, in both uh, languages. Uh, but. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, this show's over. All right. Bye, everybody. Subscribe.